Noop, 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 noop. Quest. Story quests. Unlock. Oh, hold on, Paimon. Alright, story class, click that. Yeah, I know. Price that up. I'm just gonna use this one. feeling we're going to be the ones that get surprised instead. We do. We do. We do. We do. Here we are, right outside her place. Do you still remember the first time we came here? We even brought offerings and everything. And when we told her that Rex Lapis had been assassinated, she immediately threatened to squash Liyue Harbor. Paimon thought she'd be impossible to get along with. But now that we've spent some more time together, she's really not like that at all. She's Probably quite nice. We don't need to bring any offerings now that we've gotten to know her pretty well, right? Hmm. Still, Paimon's got some snacks around here somewhere, so if she really wants something, we can just use that. Huh? Okay. Traveler. Did something catch your eye? Wow, it's a beautiful oh, woman. What a pretty lady. Is she also here to visit Cloud Retainer? It seems like she could also be a powerful adeptus. Yeah, you're right. All it takes is one look and you can tell she's someone special. As expected of that bird lady, really. She must have a whole bunch of adepti friends from all over the country. Okay, but if we're both friends of Cloud Retainer, then we're basically friends by association, right? Want to go up to her and say hello? I only... who knew you were such a social butterfly? Helping you make more connections is a part of Paimon's job as your reliable guide. Paimon's got this. <laughs> um... hello? Hmm. Just say everything in a nice, even tone. <laughs> um, Paimon doesn't think we've met, but we're also friends of Cloud Retainer. May we have the pleasure of learning your name, Madam Adeptus? You two... <laughs> what is this tomfoolery? Has a shift in form so clouded your eyes that you no longer recognize one anymore? Wait, you're... Oh, hi, Cloud Retainer. <laughs> I can immediately go to either Bayonetta or Kason. Who do I want to do? Bayonetta came first. Hi, Bayonetta, how are you? Huh? You're the illuminated bird? But you look human! How did that happen? Oh, donning human form is scarcely any test of one's abilities. As for your confusion, one merely had no reason to indulge such inclinations before. So, uh, you're indulging now because? Well, one has made plans to pay a visit to some disciples at Liyue Harbor. Taking on a human form for such a trip is simply a way to make matters less conspicuous. Yes, this is you very true. Worrying about keeping a low profile? You're the one who likes to pop up out of nowhere all over the place. In fact, Paimon can think of several examples. Like last year, when you suddenly appeared on the top of a roof without any warning, or... 
feels like Cloud Retainer has her reasons, but doesn't want to discuss them too openly. I almost forgot. Paimon, you brought gifts for her, didn't you? Hey, didn't we agree not to bring that up unless she asked? Hey, Paimon. Oh. So you have taken care to follow the proper rules of etiquette after all. Most commendable. Oh my god. Right? One has never found oneself lacking in basic comforts. On the contrary, it is the gesture that one values above all else. So long as you've shown proper respect and consideration, the quantity or quality of the gift is but a trivial matter. <sighs> that kind of makes Paimon feel a little guilty for trying to keep them for herself. Anyway, where were we before you reminded Paimon about the gifts? She was going to go visit some disciples. That sounds oh, right. interesting. So by disciples, you must mean Ganyu and Shenha. It's also been a while since we last saw them. Maybe we can come too. One plan to extend the invitation even if you had not raised the matter yourself. Shenha and Ganyu should be quite pleased to see you again. However, one would first inquire as to the reason behind your visit here. You have cause to seek one's company? And yeah, we just kind of wanted to. Yeah, we just found ourselves missing you and wanted to see how you were doing. We were hoping you'd tell us one of your stories. Who knew we'd run into your human form while we were at it? Hmm, is that so? If there are no urgent matters... Look, there's downtime then currently. Then haste for Liyue Harbor. Ganyu is likely still working at Yue High Pavilion, so that shall be our first stop. Sounds great! Then let's all go to Liyue Harbor! Thousand moonlit months. <sighs> Ganyu has been quite busy with work as of late. One can count on one talent the number of times she returns to Mount Altsong each year. Shenhe has also secured employment recently. In her correspondence with me, she wrote that she shall have no need to return for the foreseeable future. Oh. <laughs> Do they think one was so easily mollified? One shall investigate everything with one's own eyes and decide for oneself if their living conditions are satisfactory. Okay, helicopter parent. <laughs> or totally just using this as an excuse to go see your daughters. <laughs> okay, I think that's going to be all the dialogue. No, no, no. Just son of a Map. Down here. Teleport up here. <laughs> we Oh, I think she may have died. Whoopsie. We're almost at Wei High Pavilion. Uh, hey, do you think Ganyu will be shocked to see Cloud Retainer like this? Ganyu's probably seen her form. Shenha and Ganyu have ever seen her in this form before. Yeah. Uh, wait, where did she go? She's back there. Quietly now. One shall stay here. You two can go and meet with her. Uh, but why? Isn't it better if we all go together? Hm. If one were to proudly proclaim one's presence, Ganyu would surely profess herself otherwise unoccupied and drop everything to attend to one's visit. One fears that would only result in her staying up all night to make up for lost time. One yeah, that sounds like her. her. Conversing vicariously via you two shall suffice. Do remember to inquire as to her recent well-being. Again, do not mention one's presence here. Fair enough. Makes sense. All right, then. We'll just pass on your regards and... Uh, probably... Cloud retainer? <laughs> oh. oh. Busted. Yay. 
Is that lady someone you know, Ms. Ganyu? She is indeed. I'm sorry, Huixin, but could we delay the upcoming meeting for a little bit? I believe my schedule today is quite full. Although, perhaps I could move some work to later in the evening. Oh, not to worry, Miss Ganyu. I'll make the necessary arrangements right away. Thank you, Huixin. Oh, Ganyu. Such a workaholic. It's been a while, Ganyu! Greetings! What brings you here today? And Cloud Retainer, too! It's been quite some time since I last saw you in this form. You are quite mistaken. One is not acquainted with this Cloud Retainer of whom you speak. Mm -hmm. One is simply uh -huh. a mere mortal passerby. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Seems she's not buying it. God, you saw right through. Um, that was... but a simple test. One did not expect you to be able to recognize one so easily, especially after so many years of only seeing one's other form. Ganya looks totally bewildered. She's thinking, Why wouldn't I recognize you? I used to see you every day. How bad do you think my memory is? But recognizing you is, uh, my responsibility as your disciple. <laughs> An apt observation. One was simply passing by while attending to some important business. One thought it would only be fitting to pay you a visit while in the area. Wait, Paimon wasn't aware of any important... Oh, Paimon, uh, hush. Cloud Retainer's right! We've still got something uh -huh. super important to do, so we can't stay here for too long today. Paimon, here's a cookie. Shut up. Oh, is that so? But it's been so long since we last saw each other. Uh, one simply desired to see you and had no intention of interrupting your work. A quick conversation should suffice for today. A more involved reunion should wait until you find yourself less occupied. I understand. That should be fine. While one acknowledges the amount of work that you have to deal with every day, one must also remind you to rest. Though Adepti blood flows through your veins, excessive exhaustion will still cause grave harm to your body. <sighs> it still makes one nostalgic to see you as you are now, respected and independent. When you were young, you oft begged one to cuddle you to sleep. <laughs> they even and added a sleep nightmares. <laughs> Cloud retainer, stop! <laughs> <laughs> if you insist, we are running short on time regardless. So one will refrain from going into each and every story. Why don't you continue your conversation? One shall simply stand by and listen. You discuss some of your recent adventures with Kanyu. Wow, you've been to so many new places since the last time we spoke. If you ever need anything, please just come find me at Uihai Pavilion. Also, or I could just add you to a team. I do have you leveled up decently. But if you plan to continue appearing in this form, don't you think it'd be helpful to adopt a human name? <laughs> a human name? Huh. You raise a valid point. Considering the sheer extent of one's renown, Cloud Retainer is surely too recognizable as a name. Mm hmm. Uh, not that you're not famous or anything, but. that famous? <laughs> You presume to know the extent of one's illustrious achievements. One would hardly think such a thing to be possible. <sighs> Nevertheless, Ganyu's advice cannot be ignored. From this point on, when in public occasions, be sure to refer to one as Shenyun. Shenyun. Okay. Ah, I assume that's a reference to the full record of Pristine Pavilion. An adeptus of years past would rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. They were enlightened and wise, free and unfettered. The writer referenced Master's name to describe her carefree and spontaneous nature. Oh, that sounds super cool! Paimon feels like only the most powerful of adepti could rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. Actually, 
those lines were originally written to describe Cloud Retainer herself. Yeah, that sounds about right with her quit. Wait, so you're really quit. that powerful? Kit. And what of it? Did you truly take one to be nothing more than a bird of bigger than average size? <laughs> Not exactly. Totally what Paimon had in mind. To be fair, Cloud Retainer rarely speaks of her past accomplishments. The tales of her past can only be found in ancient texts. It is said that once, a long, long time ago, there was a severe drought in Liyue. Left with no choice, many people left their homes, while others spent day and night praying to the Adepti. Although I did not live through such tragedy, simply reading about it is enough to gain a visceral understanding of all the pain and desperation during that time. On top of the drought, a noxious gas also began to spread through the land. If not for Cloud uh. Retainer's efforts, much of Liyue would be nothing more than a barren wasteland today. The books had this to say about what happened. Upon arrival, the Adeptus borrowed the wind to retain the clouds. Immediately, the oh, clouds wow. gathered together, I wonder where Cloud Retainer came from. Forth from the heavens. Drought and plague were both driven away, and the people were saved. That's incredible! Mortal records add embellishments to dramatize past events. One did merely what one ought. And even if one had not interceded, the other adept I would surely have stepped in to help. Even so, you <coughs> stopped an entire drought! Can you really control the weather like the book said? Oh, Paimon suddenly has a lot more respect for you. Uh, so it was Paimon's bad for calling you Illuminated Bird before. You're not too mad, are you? Oh, how laughable. A name is but a simple label we carry with us on our journey through the world. Why would one be offended by such a trivial matter? You'd be shocked. <laughs> That's a relief. And that case, Sometimes a name can... can call you whatever feels right in the moment. Well, that is quite enough ancient history for now. Ganyu, have you had word from Shenhe? One has heard that she procured a job recently. Have you any thoughts on her workplace? And what, pray tell, of her monthly remuneration? Moreover, does she find herself overly inundated with work? Is she allowed time off during Lantern Rite? <laughs> that is a lot of questions. <laughs> there is no cause for concern, Cloud Retainer. I introduced Shenhe to her employer personally. One Min Restaurant's business has been booming recently. So, with Chef Mao being swamped with customers, and Shangling still off and out in search of new recipes, I introduced Shenhe to staff the restaurant. I see. Uh. Most excellent indeed. One has had the pleasure of being introduced to that family. Shangling is kind and astute, while her father is loyal and reliable. One has no cause to believe that they will make Shenhe's work difficult. Well, <sighs> Shenhe. Now, How is she doing it's with? It's almost time to partake in the vittles of noon. One shall visit Wanmin Restaurant in person and see how Shenhe is doing. Uh huh? But didn't you just say that you had something important to do? <laughs> uh, can that wait until after we've eaten? Yeah, it's lunchtime. <laughs> you may return to your work on you. One shall see to this matter on one's own. There will be many an occasion to dine together in the future. One is certain the opportunity shall present itself most readily. Of course, Cloud Retainer. Please take care. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. See you around, Ganyu! Bye bye, Ganyu. <laughs> Paimon was pretty quick on the uptake there, don't you think? Uh huh. As soon as you mentioned important business to attend to, Paimon realized that you were just looking to cut the conversation short and not take too much of Ganyu's time. Is Paimon right? Oh, wonderful. No, in fact, it was not an excuse. One is indeed visiting Liyue Harbor for an important purpose. Wait, for real? The moment is not yet upon us. Still, the truth will be revealed to you in time. Huh. She really seems to be playing up the whole mysterious Adeptus thing right now. Is it because we just heard that cool story about her powers? 
No, it might be because of an upcoming festival. Okay, this actually makes me wonder now. They probably tell you in notices. 4.4, yep, that. New characters, yep. New equipment, new outfit. Vibrant Harriers aloft spring. What? When is. Okay, so that one starts on the 20th. Uh-huh. Act one. Okay. So this starts tomorrow. In time, the 26th. Okay. Doop 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 doop. Help me. Should have just teleported. Oh well. And get more flowers. Yay, flowers. What? Actually, I'm pretty sure I still have plenty of characters that could use them. Because I eventually will need to get to 90. Oh, God. This game. You get what I'm saying, right? Yeah, how can I not? Not even fine food is enough to distract from the presence of a fine lady, eh? <coughs> oh, I'm far more interested in getting her details than ordering any dishes. Hey, how about you ask her? <laughs> oh my god. No, no, no. I think you should. Wait, she's coming. Hello, you two. <laughs> what can I get for you today? Uh, greetings, miss. Uh, I was just wondering uh, if you'd be willing to... Uh... What would you like to order? <laughs> okay. Uh, two servings of more meat to go. Uh, good chat. Bye. Ah, <laughs> uh, there it is. Shana! Welcome. It's been a while. May I take your order? <laughs> Don't God. welcome us as guests and greet us as old friends in the same line. It's weird. Been a while, Shen, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is? Uh, this is Miss Xinyun. Master? <laughs> huh? Yeah. One does not recall ever revealing this form to you before. How were you able to ascertain one's true identity with such ease? I've trained and lived with Master for more than 10 years. I would recognize you no matter what form you take. <laughs> you. Aww. Is something the matter, Master? Hardly. Hardly. One simply learned of your employment from your letter and came to check on your well-being. And check out the great food, too! Indeed. It's almost lunchtime. My apologies. I'm still on the clock and can't talk for very long. Well, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon, are you here for Shenha? The lunch rush isn't in yet, Shenha. So, I've got things covered for now. Go ahead, sit down and enjoy some time with your friends. I'll let you know if things pick up. Thank you, Chef Mao. Woohoo! Huh. 
Where are we eating? Axa. Huh. Kind of a weird way to get back there, sure. It is just as one expected. The owner of Wanmin Restaurant is indeed a most reasonable and accommodating human. Still, the work here entails dealing with quite a varied group of people. Has this been difficult for you, Shenhe? It's been manageable so far. I sometimes run into strange people, but I have figured out a way to deal with them. Seems like you've been making progress. So by dealing with them, you mean... First, I try to talk sense into them. If that doesn't work, I threaten them with violence. At this point, they usually decide they are in favor of a civil conversation. Oh, God. Uh, how should Paimon put this? Sounds reasonable enough oh, for you. A sensible plan. One is gladdened to see you integrate so well into human society. <laughs> and you, Master, how have you been? Simply marvelous. Though Mount Outsong has scarcely enjoyed your presence recently, one has hardly found the pleasure of one's own company to be lacking. I see. Oh, just as expected of Master. Hm. Hmm. What she means to say is she actually misses the two of you a lot. I have missed Master quite a bit too. Even though work has been busy lately, I've already had a conversation with Chef Mao about taking some time off soon to visit Master. Oh, you did? <clears throat> Do make note of such matters in your letters in the future. There's hardly a need to keep one in suspense. <laughs> Whoa, her mood shot up just like that. By the way, Master, since you are in Liyue Harbor, have you had the chance to visit Ganyu? Uh, indeed. She is similarly preoccupied with her work. There was time only to exchange a few simple pleasantries. Ganyu told us the story of Cloud Retainer's name. It was amazing. We never knew how powerful she was before. I see. In that case, allow me to also share a story about Master's past. Oh? <laughs> Is that a problem, Master? I believe this to be a good topic of conversation. No, not a problem. One was simply caught off guard. But no matter. Please, proceed. One is most curious to see how much of one's own conversational prowess you possess. Master once participated in a race against Mooncarver. After Mooncarver lost, he insisted that Master's ability to fly gave her a natural edge in such a contest. In response, Master agreed to forego flying in return for being able to use one of her devices in the race. Mooncarver accepted only to find Master with a brand new device on the day of the contest. <laughs> huh. What kind of device was it? Motorcycle? Car? It was a mechanical vehicle made out of iron. What was it called again? <laughs> Motorcycle. <laughs> An electro-powered bicycle? Oh, you refer to the bicyclical Thunder Flash Mobile. One <coughs> spent 49 days conceptualizing and crafting it. It need only be infused with adeptal energy, and it can cover thousands of miles in one day. <coughs> oh, it boggles the mind why Mooncarver ever supposed he might best me in a contest of locomotion. Though he sprinted with all his might, he could barely keep up. <sighs> Alas, the one flaw of my mechanism lay in its weakness against mountainous terrain. One was thwarted mere seconds from victory, when it was thrown off course and failed to make it across the final stretch. Truly a most unfortunate turn of events. Anyway, do go on, Shenhe. Master, that was the end of that story. <laughs> Is that so? Huh. With you gone... One has seldom felt the desire to call upon those old fossils for another contest. What is a race without spectators, after all? I can watch. Have you been lonely, Master? Oh. <laughs> lonely? Huh. At one's age, entire human generations come and go in the blink of an eye. Even one's own self-directed musings can span several days and nights. Tis a most foreign sentiment. The mere mention of it is preposterous. Mm -hmm. 
what is the reason for that look upon your face? <laughs> well, Paimon gained a lot of respect for you after listening to that story of you summoning the rain and everything. But all it took was a few words out of your mouth, and it's like you're back to being that illuminated bird again. I was just a little bit confused. Which one of the two is the real cloud retainer? Uh, yes. They are both, Master. One is the master that's widely revered by the people, while the other is the master that I respect and adore. The public and private one. One finds oneself exalted yet again with sweet words of praise and flattery of a most extravagant nature. You chose to exalt one with your words, yet you refuse to grace Mount Altsong with your presence for any extended period of time. One would almost question the sincerity of your estimations. <coughs> this is not to say that your words paint an inaccurate picture. One has always lived by a single ideal. Eschew all action and abide by no rule. One does as one pleases and speaks as one pleases. Mm -hmm. Others may critique or praise as they see fit. Yet one places little weight in such judgments. She got like... What, two sentences of flattery from her disciple? And it's like her ego is about to burst. Do you have any empty tables? Hey there, could we get another fish stew? Uh, it sounds like she should get back to work. I'm hearing more guests come in. I should get back to work. Mm -hmm. I'll try my best. As more and more guests begin to trickle in, Paimon takes the opportunity to order a whole. So much yummy food! Dang it. <laughs> is this food to your taste, Cloud Retainer? One is fond of all kinds of delicacies and delights in a multitude of flavors. The dishes here demonstrate no shortage of culinary skill. Their unique flavor profile has left one more than satisfied. In fact, one has been struck by quite the fit of inspiration. One has already begun to conceptualize the next generation of supreme cuisine machines. Everything's so tasty. A bit too hot at times, but still super tasty. I'm sorry, miss, but our tables are full. Shall we try somewhere else, Granny? But it smells so delightful. Can we really not eat here? My poor legs can't go on for much longer. Well, you could always check with some of the other guests and see if anyone's happy to share a table. Okay, I I'll ask around. Excuse me, would you mind letting us share a table with you? There are no empty tables left, so... Ah, well, Paimon doesn't mind. What about you guys? As long as you don't mind our chatter. Great! Thanks so much. My name is Shuyu, and this is my granny, Yuendai. Granny? Yep. Is there something wrong with that? No, no, Paimon's just a bit surprised. She looks so young. Uh... <laughs> yeah, a lot of people compliment Granny on her youthful looks, but she's actually much older than she appears. <sighs> That's just very much the, uh... Granny? Old why don't you take a seat? Come on, it's not polite to stare. Huh. Have we met before? No. Tis a faded meeting, then. Please, take a seat. What would you like to eat, Granny? I can order for you. I want... braised earthworms. They always pop up out of the ground after a rainstorm. <laughs> no, no, not this again. 
Granny, there's no braised earthworms on the menu. Hmm. Braised earthworms? Well, that sounds weird. Do people actually eat that? Couldn't hurt to ask. Right, that's what Paimon was thinking too. I... Need any help? Help? Oh, do you mean with Granny? Thanks, that's nice of you to offer. Granny has pretty bad dementia, so her memory's getting worse all mm. the time. She's always saying things that sound kind of confusing. Actually, her memory's been bad ever since I was little. But it's gotten so bad lately that I even have to remind her who I am every morning. And your parents? They died young. It's just me and Granny now. Oh. Oh, um... But it's okay. Don't feel bad. Granny loves me a lot, and I love her a lot, too. Sure, it's hard at times, but you just gotta make the best of the life you've got. Wow. You're really tough for your age, kid. <laughs> You're too kind. And me? Oh, what about me? You're tough, too, Granny. Plus, you're really gentle, and you're always there for me. Yes, and it's hardly as if I forget everything. I still remember the important things. Oh. Uh, wait, what was that really important thing again? I feel like oh, this is... I remember now. It was a dream. I had a dream where everything was dark. Someone was standing in front of me. She told me to come and find her, and that once I'd found her, I would be free. Huh? That sounds super important. But how come you've never told me about it before? It was just a dream, so I forgot about it. But I'm in a good mood now, and somehow I remembered it again. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know... I believe I've had this dream a great many times, but just how many times have I had it? Now that, I do not remember. Wait, so you have a reoccurring dream where someone's talking to you? That sounds spooky. <gasps> Does that mean you're possessed? I'm on. That's not very nice. Unlikely. Her eyes are clear, and her breathing remains calm and level. One sees no signs of possession. Are you sure? Who do you take me for? Is one not an adept? <laughs> Am I not an expert? Huh, you're right. Paimon almost forgot you're the expert. <laughs> in that case, do you still remember what the person in your dreams looked like, Granny? Not anymore. Although, I have a sense that she looked rather like me. But not as I am now, my younger self. <laughs> a younger version of Granny? This is just getting weirder and weirder. What is going on here? I don't know. Hey, are you two actually hungry? As one said, fate must have brought us together. You may leave this situation to me. Are you sure? Um, so, what are your names? Paimon's Paimon. I'm the Traveler. Just Shen Yun is fine. Thank you all so much for offering to help. But first, I'm sorry for asking, but, um, how do you want us to pay you back? Oh, we don't need any payment for this. Just curious about her situation about your situation and wonder if we can help. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, but Miss Jenyun, what exactly can we do to help out this granny? All we have to go off is that dream. Where do we start? That is elementary. Since her dreams portray her younger self, then we shall retrace the steps of her youth. Once we have revisited those places, her memories will likely return. Hmm, sounds like a plan. So, Granny, do you remember which places you went to when you were young? Why, of course I do. The heavens above, the earth below, 
the wispy clouds, and the emerald mountain streams. Hmm. Okay, taking that as a no. I might have an idea. Once, when I was really little, my dad told me that Granny used to be a martial artist heroine who saved loads of people from a disaster. If it's true, huh. then maybe they wrote about it in the history books or something. A martial arts heroine? Hmm. Oh, Shincho knows tons about Liwa's chivalric traditions. If anyone knows about the heroes of the past, it's him. Let's go find him at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Are you leaving already? But I'm still hungry. I'll go order some food, Granny. If there's nothing on the menu you especially want, I'll just get a few different things. It seems we must part ways for now. The Traveler and Paimon are bound for the Feiyun Commerce Guild, while you and I and Shuyu shall remain here and partake of their lunch. As for myself, I have matters to discuss with Streetward Rambler. Streetward Rambler? <coughs> oh, you mean Madame Ping! Precisely. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace once you are ready. Okay. If we have a right by her. Where are you going, Granny? Don't you like the food? Fresh milk. I need to buy you some fresh milk. Milk? Why? You need to drink milk before eating, or the spicy food will make you cry. Hush, little one. Don't cry. <laughs> Granny, you're forgetting things again. I'm not a little baby anymore. I can eat spicy food now. Even the super spicy dishes, like their fish stew. I can eat two whole bowls, no problem. Mm. Wonderful. How oh, wonderful. My darling granddaughter is all grown up. There is not. Oh, okay. Ashen, huh? I should get paid in another few days. Shall we take the opportunity to go out and have some fun? Hmm. Ah, do, do, do. What brings you here? Hey, do you know anything about... Great, we found you! We wanted to ask you about something! Hmm... That's not a whole lot of information to go off of. I don't know if I can say for sure... Anything, please. I can't pinpoint her identity from your description alone, but... Considering her age, I am reminded of a nameless heroine who's been featured in various chivalric novels. Nameless heroine? That's right. The novels often speak of a great drought from 50 years ago. As the people suffered, a nameless heroine appeared and began to clear away evil spirits in bandit camps. Uh -huh. the people idolized her, but never learned her name. All they knew was that she always acted alone. Later, though, she supposedly fell in love with a similarly noble-minded exorcist from Mount Tianhang. They were well-matched in more ways than one, often fighting together as a fearsome duo of otherworldly strength. After the drought ended, the heroine and the exorcist left the public eye and began living a reclusive life in the mountains. All that remained were tales of her incredible accomplishments. 
Hmm. But where this nameless heroine faded from fame into obscurity later in life is not too dissimilar from Miss Yuendai. I hope that's somewhat helpful. Thanks a lot, Xingqiu. We knew it'd be worth talking to you. It's nothing at all. Just something I came across while reading. I did do a bit of extra research on her story, but it was just out of personal curiosity. Well, Paimon still thinks that's super cool. Oh, wait, Xingqiu, if you've read up on her, do you know of any places often associated with her? Let me think. In the novels, the nameless heroine always appeared near one of three places. Wangshu Inn, the area just north of Jue Yun Karst, and Ching Yun Peak. Perhaps the real-life heroine who inspired the character was also often seen near those three places. That would explain why those locations appear in the various novels written about her. Thank you, Ching. Ching. <laughs> You're welcome. Ching. To be honest, Chiu. I found some parts of the story oh confusing when I first came Ching across Chiu. it. Ching. If Miss Ching 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 was indeed oh the original God. inspiration for the character, she may just be able to help me put the pieces together. It's rare for a chivalric hero to fade into obscurity during their lifetime, even after retiring from the public eye. But no one ever saw or heard from the nameless heroine again. There were even rumors that she became extremely ill. I've never understood why someone would go to such lengths to erase themselves from public memory. It's almost as if she was trying to hide from something. There's probably far more to the story than what's been written. We'll be sure to tell you if we manage to uncover the truth. If we can tell you. That's a deal. Perhaps, behind the truth of it all, there lies a story more fantastical than any work of fiction. Paimon feels like we just learned so much from Shinkyo. A drought, a nameless heroine, a life of seclusion. Uh, wait, why does the story sound super familiar? I don't know. Oh, right. There's a drought in this story, too. Um, Shinkyo, are droughts super common in Liyue or something? Well, they used to be. But people have long since developed methods to prevent them. Like by cultivating the soil or digging canals. So while droughts do happen from time to time, they are rarely regarded as true disasters. The drought 50 years ago is probably one of the worst we've had in the last several centuries. The crops uh -huh. withered, the streams ran dry, and the monsters in the mountains became rabid and agitated. Countless caravans were attacked, and people who lost their homes came together to form bandit groups. What started as a natural disaster soon became a human tragedy as well. That sounds awful. Yeah, and that's exactly why the nameless heroine was so beloved. She must have been someone of true integrity to do so much for the people while asking nothing in return. Still, as terrible as that drought was, it was nothing compared to the truly calamitous disasters that befell this land in ancient times. They say what, that back like... in those days, Disasters were both more severe and more common. Only the strongest of Adepti could hope to dispel the ruin and devastation. Do you have any other questions? We're good for now. We're just going to head back and meet up with Miss Yanyan and the others again. Paimon hopes that Granny Yuendai will be able to remember more of her past. She used to be a great hero who saved many people. So sad that she can't recall any of it. Anyway, we'll be off now. See you some other time, Xingqiu. Thank you so much for your help. It's no problem at all. Safe travels. Okay. Oh, okay, we're just gonna go further. Oop Second. Speed of light. Hey. Wait. I have recorded the. Also, I just realized she didn't die from the fall in the cutscene. Oh, 
thank you. <laughs> Straight word, but ping. What has amused you so? <laughs> oh, it's no serious matter. I was just reminiscing about the last time I saw you in this form. Time has wrought such change in this world, and yet you appear just the same as ever. Time has little bearing on one's existence, nor has one keenly felt its effects whilst dwelling at Mount Outsong. Nevertheless, Ping, one would like to seek your counsel on a personal matter. Oh, why so formal all of a sudden? I must say, you're making me a little nervous. What is it? Well, the inquiry is as such. A approximately how much more would one need to afford a comfortable <laughs> life in the harbor? Not unlike the one that you yourself uh... Hmm. It does not require as much as you may think. Still, do you mean that... Club retainer, Madam Ping! Uh, what are you two talking about? We just interrupted something. Uh, nothing save for some trivial matters. <sighs> Have you unearthed any useful details? Is she planning on she moving here just so she can be closer to her daughters? Up with us again. Because if so, that would be adorable. Hmm. Do not be troubled, young lady. Here, have some tea. Thank you so much. What do you think, Shuyu? Does it match up with what you know of your granny? <sighs> According to the story, the nameless heroine eventually fell in love with an exorcist from Mount Tianhung. Maybe... What did... That's my grandpa. I don't have many memories of him, but there was this <laughs> one time I found a box in her attic full of a bunch of weird sigils. Seems like the stories were on the right track. I think so too. Granny might remember something once she's returned to a familiar place. What marvelous tea. I can taste the dew's sweetness in this cup. It's as if I was taking a stroll in the mountains, thoroughly one with nature and at peace. Mm. Is that so? Then please drink as much as you like. There's no need to hurry. At our age, it's always nice to slow down and take the time to appreciate pleasant conversation among friends. Thank you. Alright, then let's rest here for a bit. Okay, since we have the time, can I ask you something? Sure thing, what would you like to know? Um, I have a secret I want to tell you. Let's go talk over there. What, are you part Adeptus? <laughs> okay, hold on. My brain... Adepti Disciple... to use more characters. <laughs> Was that shattered bloom one? Nor is the team with Ganyu. Okay, I'm going to go off on random tangent. My memory can't remember. Uh, builds, 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 builds. Who am I looking for again? Ganyu.
Uh, I swear, there was a team that I found that actually ended up being... strategy What's wrong, Shuyu? Well, I've been kind of meaning to ask ever since we started talking in the restaurant, but are you guys all adepti in disguise? <laughs> oh. uh, about that. Why do you say? special. Plus, I think I might have heard Miss Shen Yun call herself an adeptus. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Must have been a slip of the tongue. Shen Yun, since you were the one who, uh, misspoke, maybe you can explain to Xu Yu here what you really meant by that. <sighs> one is indeed an adeptus. Okay. Is that of some concern to you? Huh? Eh. You don't sound surprised at all. She just said she knew it. Okay. Well, one time when I was a little kid, I saw a pure white illuminated crate. I had this super high fever and Granny wasn't around. I was feeling all icky and gross. But then this snowy white crane flew down from the sky. She put me on her back and flew me to her cool adeptus house and fed me some sort of magic potion. When I woke up, I was already back in my bed, and my fever was gone. I really wanted to thank her, but I was too sleepy to stay awake, so I never got the chance. So, I just kind of wanted to ask if maybe any of you have ever met an adeptus like that? <laughs> A pure white illuminated crane? The only two we've ever met are blue and white and black and brown. Have you ever met one that's pure white, Clavertina? Hmm. Never has one met an adeptus with such features. One surmises such a description is but a hyperbolic embellishment that oft results from narrative accounts. That's weird. Was it really just a dream then? Well, even if it was just in my head, it doesn't matter that much anyway. All I really want is to help Granny recover her memories. I'm really grateful for all your help. Leave it to us! Now that we know the three locations, we just need to visit them one by one. Let's go to Wang Shu Inn first. Okay, I'll go get Granny. I think I actually... I think I was fighting against a bunch of water ones, and instead of her, I had yeah. Okay. Wang Shu In. Wang Shu In. Do you remember this place, Granny? Yes. The fish here is very delicious, and if you look out into the distance, you can always spot a bird that's been left behind by its flock. I believe I used to have a room here. It had a window. Yes, yes, I spent a lot of time looking out that window. Which room was it again? Uh, let me look. I'll come with. Paimon's still having some trouble understanding what she's talking about, but 
If she's so familiar with this place, that must mean she lived here, right? Wait, huh? Whoa! Shit! <laughs> what are you doing here all of a sudden? You scared the living daylights out of my mind! Sup, babe? I sensed a non-human presence and decided to come take a look. If you're here, then there's likely no trouble afoot. I suppose there's no cause for concern. It's been a while, Cloud Retainer. I see you have returned to your previous form. <laughs> I'm assuming all the Adepti have seen her in this form at I this point. indeed. I fought alongside her in this form on many occasions during the Archon War. Oh, wow! What was she like during the war? Oh, wait, let Paimon take a guess. Was it anything like this? Behold, the glory of one's newest invention, the <laughs> Bang Bang Continuous Fire Mechanism. Hands up and surrender, or be prepared to face the full might of the Adepti. An impressive imitation. <laughs> <laughs> Paimon knows her all too well. <laughs> Even so, Cloud Retainer was not always as ostentatious as you describe. You may be unaware, but her talent with Adepti Sigils is just as formidable as her skill in mechanics. <clears throat> the Archon War reached its peak after Guizhong's death. The Cloud Retainer who fought beside me in those devastating battles was taciturn and solemn. Only speaking when she had to activate her sigils. A cloud retainer who barely talks? Paimon can't picture it. But what happened after that? If you were so powerful in your human form, why did you decide to take up your bird form again? Once one had bid farewell to the world of mortals, what use would one still have for such a shape? When dwelling between mountain and forest, away from the struggles and troubles of the mortal world, a mortal form is hardly the most fitting of choices. After the war, Cloud Retainer retired to Mount Outsong, only revealing herself to the occasional visitor, and always in her avian form. Although I do believe there was an occasion some 30-odd years ago when she decided to don her human form. <laughs> I believe it was for the purpose of... <laughs> One believes there is little need to relive bygone matters. Granny, are you okay? Uh, back then, at this place, I... Perhaps this conversation should end here. I shall take my leave now. I... Should you encounter any trouble, you need only call my name. However, given that you are traveling with Cloud Retainer, I trust you are in good hands. Bye, babe. Hopefully, I'll I actually get you in this next banner. Slowly now, calm your mind and recount what has been recalled. A long time ago, I stayed here to recuperate from my illness. Huh. So what Shinjo said was true! You did fall ill! Was that why you went into hiding? I... Don't remember. I'm very sorry, but but I can't even remember the name of my illness. The only thing I can remember is that it took a great toll on me, and there was no cure for it. I was confined to my room in Wangshu Inn, where I spent many days unconscious. I'd come to every once in a while and stare at the migrating birds outside the window. It was a solemn sight. I remember crying, but I'm not even sure I knew why. One day, I met a traveling merchant. Upon hearing of my illness, he sold me a bottle of soul-revitalizing tea pills. He told me that the pills were concocted using Adepti blood and could be used to alleviate my symptoms. Sure enough, I made a full recovery. My illness remained dormant for several decades after that. So the dementia you're suffering now, if suffering is actually... Wait, but if your illness remained dormant for several decades, are you saying that what you're going through now is just a relapse of what happened all those years ago? 
And it was all thanks to the pills that you managed to keep the symptoms in check? Uh, Paimon's brain kinda hurts. Do you remember anything else? I'm sorry, I don't. <sighs> oh, if only I wasn't so useless. Hey, you're not useless. You've done so much for me. Watched me grow up. Raised me. How could you say that about yourself? Oh, fret not, dear child. Granny was just a bit frustrated. That's all. The recovery of a person's memories is a gradual process. Finding pieces of one's past is always superior to not finding anything at all. Let us make haste to the next location. Next location... Next location... Oh! Why don't we go to the area north of Dweyunkars next? There isn't really a landmark there, so where should we start? Oh! Paimon's got it! Let's check out the houses in the area first! After all, if she was there for any length of time, then she would have stayed somewhere, right? Oh, Paimon's really got her thinking cap on today! At this rate, we'll recover all of Granny Wendai's memories in no time! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, that's j okay. That's a really big area. That's a really big area. Okay, teleport here and then go. Uh. Okay, this one's actually more out of the way because it's not near anything else. Doop do do do. E. Whatever, I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. Any memories? I don't remember this place at all. I don't think I've ever been here before. Still, I was thinking... This place feels perfect for a game of hide-and-seek! Huh? Uh, okay. Why a game of hide-and-seek? I'm not sure. Maybe it's because I used to play that game a lot with Shuyu when she was younger. She cannot be much older than like eight. I don't eight. remember playing her that much. Are you sure about that, Granny? We only played a few times, and we stopped once we realized there was no good at the whole seeking part. Ah, is that so? Then I must be mistaken. Hmm, not here then. Let's try somewhere else. Oh. Okay, they had to spawn those back in. Okay, tell our ear. Doop.
Time to go. Move faster, move faster, move faster, move faster. <laughs> Your father was born. It was a moonless night. I had been injured, so your grandpa was supporting me. We fled together with some being in the fog behind us in hot pursuit. I had exhausted my strength when the labor pains came on, so we took refuge in this house. Your grandpa set up a barrier outside, but neither of us knew if it could hold the monsters back. I remember that night. I remember falling to my knees, reciting a prayer over and over. I alone am the source of this sin. Punish me as you wish for forsaking my oath, but spare my innocent child. Sin? Oath? Did you do something wrong? I don't know. I don't remember. I only remember praying in the darkness with all my strength until the sun finally rose again and the fog cleared out. Eventually, the house was filled with the sound of my baby's first cries. That baby was your father. You fought while you were I clutched him tight to my chest almost in labor. And tears of joy. It was the first time I okay. felt such happiness in my life. My dad? He was my pride and joy. And so are you, Shuyu. You're so much yeah, like him. Yeah, I love you both so much. But you're... always going to be different from me. I... Why? Just... What did I do? I don't care what you might have done, Granny. You'll always be the person I love more than anything. You're too sweet, Shuyu. I'm lucky to have you with me. If not for you, I would not have had the courage to come here to try to remember what I had forgotten. All right. Let's not stand around any longer. There's one place left, yes? Let's go take a look. Probably won't be as truth Before revealing as this. The next place should be Ching oh. Peak. You and I. Okay, we just. I may be a bit slow, but I'll do my best to keep okay. up. I'm sorry to keep everyone waiting. Climb on. I shall carry you to the top. <laughs> oh, such lightness of weight. All those who grow old grow frail in the end, do they not? First, you lose your memory, then your health. Eventually, you end up losing everything. My only oh, wish how is to depress this world with a lucid mind, to free myself of this torment and the burden it places upon others. Fret not, you have my aid in this endeavor. Oh, right, I can also... Okay. 
after I stream, I am definitely gonna go build her. Your time. When we were at Wangshu Inn and the abandoned house earlier, though I couldn't remember everything, I still felt a sense of familiarity. I could easily picture myself in those places. But here, I don't have that feeling. Perhaps I did come here in the past, but it just didn't leave a strong impression on me. But did the stories get it wrong then? You can't expect them to get everything, right? Yeah, that's true. But they're also the only thing we have to go off of. Paimon was hoping this place would jog Granny Uendai's memory just like the others. I'm sorry to disappoint you two. It's alright. We're not going to give up yet. We'll figure something else out. Just you wait. Thank you. If only I could remember. Huh? That way. What's that mountain? Oh, hey. Oh, let Paimon look! Huh? Isn't that Mount Outsong? Looks like we've come full circle. Mount Outsong. Mount Outsong. Granny, are you okay? Don't push yourself, Granny. It's okay if you can't remember. You shouldn't do something that makes you sad. Mount Outsong, I... What am I, really? Mount Outsong holds some familiarity to you? It does, but I... I can't go back. Are you feeling unwell? My head... It feels all heavy and dizzy. I... Just... What is wrong with me? Miss mm -hmm. um, Yun, is there anything you can do? Let us go to Mount Outsong. But fret not, all will be well. You and I, you have already given more than enough you... to the pursuit of this endeavor. You and I. Leave the rest you and me. I. I prepared. Oh my God! Is aid you in suppressing the fear that's not going to be the. That's not going to be the punchline for this whole thing, is it? Sides at Mount Outsong. Wait, really? When did you do that? <laughs> I never leave anything to chance. All will reveal itself when we arrive. Oh my god. Time to go. We. We, 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 we. Here, this is it. Huh? But isn't this the mechanism that you were tinkering with when we first got here? Oh, is it another invention of yours? Precisely. A recent one at that. I am most pleased with the result. I call it the Suspensus Somnium Mechanism. It periodically releases a soft breeze, which when paired with a gentle adeptal tune, can help the listener subconsciously relax and even enter a semi-hypnotic state. In that thing you Soothing got from Madame Pink? Anxiety, 
relieving exhaustion and insomnia, its potential uses are numerous indeed. And of course, it can also aid in the recovery of lost memories. Oh, what a cool gadget! But if you had it all along, why did you keep it to yourself until just now? We could have come to Mount Outsong right off the bat and saved time on a lot of floating. How preposterous. Had you and I not recalled much of her past through her own efforts, the device would have nothing to draw upon. We Adepti can only help those who first resolve to help themselves. Had she lacked such determination and strength of character, one would have little to offer in way of assistance. Paimon thinks she gets it now. Uh, hey, what's that other thing? As previously mentioned, a gentle adeptal tune is required to take full advantage of the mechanism. One secured such a tune from Streetward Rambler. Only with her melodies can the mechanism reach its peak power. Mm. Oh, Paimon can feel what you mean. Paimon's body feels light as a feather. It's as if she's lying down on a warm patch of grass after a super satisfying meal. And you, you and I, is the mechanism helping you to relax? <sighs> I think so. It appears she has already succumbed to the depths of reverie. Come, join one on this side. We shall give her some time to herself. Should we not have, like, have her the sit down? Is over. But why do you look like you want to cry? The potion. It's nearly run its course. I've never regretted meeting you. Not even for a second. Please. Please, no. Have you forgotten? This is the world you left behind. One of gentle breeze and morning dew. Perfectly straddled betwixt the realms of heaven and earth. This is your home. This is where you belong. You should have never left. Aww. The you of the past. The me from not that long ago. We should have never. Uh, uh, so that is the truth. No wonder this place is so familiar. <laughs> okay. Granny! Granny, are you okay? Cloud Retainer. Hmm. Your memories have returned. Wait, did you just call her by her full name? Does that mean you already knew each other? Yes, I now remember everything. Everything. Granny, please don't cry. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, don't worry, my dear child. Granny is fine. These are happy I'm tears, so sorry, right? Everyone. You've gone to so much trouble on my behalf. It's all come back to me now. The most important thing that I had forgotten was the truth of what I once was. <sighs> One can sense the guilt that now plagues your conscience. Reclaiming a truth long buried is sure to come with a myriad of complex emotions. Perhaps one should recount the story on your behalf while you compose yourself. No, it's okay. Now that I've remembered, I must face my memories head on. Shuyu, everyone, I cannot thank you enough for all your help. I'm ready to tell you my story, if you're willing to listen. Please, Granny, don't force yourself. What happened in the past doesn't matter. I love you more than anything. Nothing you say can change that. 
I know, dear child. My feelings for you are exactly the same. It is for this reason that you deserve to know the truth. Some time ago, I made a terrible mistake. One for which I could never atone. Is this the sin that you mentioned in Dreyun Karst? What happened? I am, in truth, not a human being. My real form, one that I held for centuries, was that of a wild crane. I spent many, uh -huh. many years living on Mount Outsong, bathing in the soft breeze and drinking the sweet dew of the mountains. At some point, I somehow gained wisdom and sentience. The Lord of the Mountain, Cloud Retainer, became aware of my existence and began to share many stories with me. She even passed on the secret of cultivation to me. Though she never took me on as a formal disciple, I always saw her as my master. Whenever she took out her tools to work on mechanisms or new inventions, I would also stand next to her and watch. I even contemplated completing my training and becoming an adeptus in my own right. I followed her teachings, and time gradually passed us by. Until that fateful day, fifty years ago. Fifty years ago? The drought? That's right. Master regaled me with many stories of her past deeds. From them, I learned how she had saved people from a similar crisis in the past. Mm -hmm. She was the one I looked up to the most. More than anything, I dreamt of becoming an adeptus like her. I wanted to travel the land like she had, relieving suffering wherever I went. But I was still far from being a real adeptus. I possessed no ability to take on human form and fit in with the crowd. Once she learned of my desires, Master prepared a special dose of human mimicry potion for me. She warned me that the potion's effects would only last ten years, and if I were to fail to return to my original form at the end of that time, I would forever forget my past as a crane and become something neither human, beast, nor adeptus. Oh, no. Hey. So that was... The source of your dementia all along. You never turned back into a crane. You instead had a family. Was it because of Grandpa? Indeed, I fell in love. Though he was human, he had spent his entire life training on Mount Tianhang. When we met, it was not only my first foray into the world below, but his as well. Although clumsy and impulsive as he was, you'd think he was the real strange bird among the two of us. But still, just like me, he cared deeply about the world and wanted, more than anything, to cleanse it of all pain and suffering. I could not help but fall for him. But my time continued to tick away. Those ten years passed by in a flash. Yet... I did not want to leave his side, so I... I... Oh no, what happened next? I committed an offense. I wanted to stay with him, even if it meant living a life full of pain and suffering. Even if it meant that I would eventually turn into a monstrosity. You had a baby? I knew I had betrayed Master's hopes. But I was too ashamed to face her. So I wrote her a long letter instead and asked someone to leave it outside her abode. I was convinced that she would not support my decision, and I lacked the courage to speak to her face to face. In my shame, I fled and tried to hide from the world, such that no one would be able to find me again. The nameless heroine hid herself away. But that was only the beginning of my troubles. I began to suffer from a strange illness. My memories became hazy and confused, and I could no longer keep myself awake. I understood that my pain was caused by my refusal to return to the life I was fated to lead. 
Along with my memories as a crane, I soon forgot the true cause of my suffering as well. I knew only that I had committed a sin. All I could do was pray for forgiveness, even if I had long forgotten what needed to be forgiven. Looking back, I was beyond lucky to have come across that traveling merchant at Wangshu Inn. It was such a fortunate coincidence that we were there at the same time. If it weren't for those soul-revitalizing tea pills, I probably would have... <sighs> Granny! What's wrong? Coincidence? Why did I ever think it was a coincidence? Tea pills concocted using the blood of an adeptus? <laughs> oh, it couldn't be. Master, don't tell me. <laughs> Back then, that merchant was actually... <sighs> Human custom would dictate the conferral of gifts to be in order when one's progeny is wedded, would it not? Consider the pills a symbol of one's best wishes. <laughs> <laughs> so when I tried to conceal my name and mistakes from the world and hide myself away in perpetuity, the only person I managed to deceive was myself. You knew where I was all along. One still remembers when you were but a fledgling. You possessed a certain fondness for a particular game. You would hide yourself among a group of wild cranes and ask one to pick you out from among the flock. One found you with such ease every time. <laughs> Tis the truth most evident. One always recognizes one's own, no matter what form they may take. Paimon? This is... <laughs> retainer, you found you and I again? But how? When? And what happened after that? <sighs> Perhaps it is now time for one to recount the rest of the tale. Okay, we're just... One was furious upon receiving your letter. Seized with anger, one set out to bring you to your senses. more than a few misgivings about your chosen partner. As an exorcist, his talent was lacking. One could hardly say his skill with sigils was any better. But soon, one came to appreciate the devotion he bestowed upon you during your illness. He never uttered a complaint and rarely left your side. Unwilling to begrudge someone of such character, one decided to overlook his aforementioned deficiencies. Glaring though they may have been, <laughs> wishing to grant you a life without regrets, one gathered many divine ingredients and used one's own blood to create a form of medicine. Though imperfect, it managed to suppress the more dire effects of your illness. As for how to deliver the medicine, after much contemplation, one eventually decided to perform the deed oneself. One took great care to alter one's features <laughs> and select the appropriate attire. God. Only after meticulous scrutiny did one finally set out for Wang Shu Inn. As one expected, you were most ignorant of one's true identity. You showed not even the slightest inkling of recognition. <sighs> one was quite torn. Should one have celebrated the success of one's disguise, or mourn the loss of your acquaintance. Aww. What? What? 
seconds. Oh. I can... <laughs> I... Fighting. Nevertheless, one would speak to you about another. Okay. If you are amenable, even considering your loss Does of that memory, home one in was simply flabbergasted that you could so easily forget the consequences of consuming medicine. No, it does not. I thought for a second it might just try to hold me in on the ground, but okay. This way. <laughs> oh, so much pain. Ah. Okay, homes in on enemies. Monsters would hardly have pursued you with such ferocity without sufficient incentive. They were likely incited by the presence of godly remains. Sad godly remains, in turn, were likely drawn to the trace of one scent on your body. Juan was, after all, an active participant in the Archon War. Some of the gods were likely shattered by contraptions of one's very making. In the end, one was relieved to see you endure through the night. At the break of dawn, one heard an infant's cry pierce through the air, and one saw you carefully cradle the child to your chest. Although certain mortal matters remain foreign to me, one could not help but be moved by your joy. To see you happy, that was more than enough. Okay, what the... Okay, 90-90 and Nobilis. Also... White Clouds at Dawn gains one additional charge. Okay. Now you should have a complete understanding of the events. Wait, but if that's true, then the crane who took care of me when I was sick must also be... Ah, one had almost neglected to recount the absurdities of that tale. <laughs> absurdities, huh? Nice invisible wall. Yeah, skyward. Ja 
Just as you and I troubled one with her antics, so did you give one many a headache. <laughs> Upon finding you burning with fever, one made plans to bring you back to one's abode for treatment. However, upon seeing one's form, you began to cry, refusing to get on one's back. <laughs> when one asked you why, <laughs> apparently you believed that one could not possibly be a true adeptus, because all illuminated <laughs> things are white from tip to toe. One had no choice but to apply powder to one's body to conceal the variegated nature of one's appearance. Oh my Became god. More than amenable enough when one stood before you devoid of any other coloring. <laughs> it bears mentioning, however, that as a crane, you and I was nearly entirely pure white in color. Though you had never encountered her in that form, you still recognize the essence of her being. Perhaps fate brought you two together in more ways than one. Oh my god. <laughs> Now all has been revealed. <sighs> One owes you an apology, you and I. One recognized you upon your very entrance into Wan Mean Restaurant. One has always viewed you as a disciple of equal standing with Ganyu and Shenhe. Indeed, One wished to bring so the your story to a satisfactory learned. end with this visit to Liyue Harbor. Still, one could not reveal your identity right away. Had one simply informed you of all you had lost, all those cherished memories would merely have become the fictionalized account of another. Memories are most meaningful when recalled by those who lived through them. Would you not agree? Even if the process was painful and arduous to experience. <sighs> have you any further inquiries? Master, I... I must ask, if you found me all those years ago, why did you leave me be, even though you knew about my mistake? Why did you not bring me back to Mount Outsong by force? Eventually One all birds has never have regarded to... your action as a mistake. It was the a bird must choice. leave the nest eventually. Nothing more. When it is time for one's progeny to leave yep. the nest... <laughs> It is the responsibility of an elder to let them fly free. Yet, when your wings grow weary and the night grows dark, just know that you always have a place to which to return. Tis a refuge referred to by many a name in mortal writing. Home, nest, haven. Whatever its denomination may be, its essence remains quite unchanged. Hmm. One speaks, of course, of a place not unlike one's own abode. One's disciples are free to come and go as they wish, yet the door remains forever open to those who wish to return. One rather hopes you count yourself among them. Thank you. I just... Thank you so much. Hmm. You and I... <sighs> One expects you too have sensed the rapid deterioration of your condition as of late, have you not? Forty years ago, you chose a path without a future. Though one used one's own blood to provide you with a few decades of extra time, it nearly delayed the inevitable. One may have extended the path, yet one was unable to alter its final destination. <sighs> Even the power of an Adeptus has its limits. Had your condition continued to deteriorate, you would have forgotten your life as a human entirely. In the end, you would have turned into a creature lacking in the ability to even comprehend its own monstrousness. Fortunately, you were able to avoid that scenario by reclaiming your memories. Though one sped the process along by providing some guidance, the result is entirely a reflection of your own effort. So, what's gonna happen to Granny? One will help her reclaim her original form as a wild crane. 
If it be fated, she may recover her sentience one day. She's gotta go back to being a regular crane, huh? So we're just gonna leave this little girl all by herself? Master, you've already done more than enough for me. I don't know how I could possibly repay your kindness. This is a better result than I could have ever hoped for. How much time do I have left? <sighs> mm -hmm. Not long. The transformation is imminent. Granny? Please don't leave, okay? Y you're all I have left. Please. Don't be sad, dear child. Granny has led a wonderful life. My only regret is having to leave you behind. She literally has nobody else. Don't forget to eat well, okay? A growing young lady like yourself This kid cannot be older than 10. Food to grow big and strong. Promise Granny you'll take good care of yourself when I'm gone. I promise, Granny. I'll do whatever you say. Good girl. Good girl. Don't worry. It's not goodbye for Hey, Cloud Retainer. Granny's you're gonna move the most into in all of Mount Liwa Mount Harbor, Granny and you're gonna adopt this girl as your I won't stop until I can turn into a human as your granddaughter. To rely on anything but my own power. When that day comes, we'll be able to live together again. You and I. How's that sound? Good. That's a good girl. Even though we won't see each other for a little while, as long as we both work hard, we're sure to meet again someday. Uh, I'll eat well, Granny. I promise. And I'll wait for you, no matter how long it takes. I'll wait for you to come back. That's a good girl. Then Granny really has no more regrets. I'm so sorry, Master. Thank you for everything. Blinding white and then suddenly the crane model shows up. That transformation was actually a lot cleaner than I thought it would be. Cloud retainer, you're having. <laughs> you're going to adopt a that granddaughter. At her age, crying is a natural, if not fitting, response to such an event. You're taking care of her now. Tears are a necessary part of maturation. Sometimes there is scarcely a better vehicle to wash away the toll of stress and misery. Now that the issue has been resolved, you should also take a moment to relax. Give yourself some time to rest. Take a nap if you must. One will wake you in due time. This is all just a dream, right? She didn't learn that that quick. <laughs> yeah, this is all just a dream. I always 
believed we would see each other again. That our days of separation would finally end. And all my troubles would be behind me. Shouldn't your dreams be pleasant? It was a good dream. It's just... You weren't ready to wake up. Yep. <laughs> oh, so giving. Her voice sack. I mean, the voice actors a lot more Eloquent time. As one may be, words of comfort are not one's strong suit. You are doing all you can. One can see your strength of will, your fearlessness in the face of danger. And so, whatever your dream may be, one believes that you shall achieve it. Of course, whenever the perils you face overwhelm you, or you become weary, one is always here for you. Thank you, Mom. After all, as an elder, it is only right to look out for the young ones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even got the drumsticks. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, the whiplash there. <laughs> Good morning, sleepyhead. Your thumb tastes oh. good? Oh, Paimon wasn't talking to you. Paimon had a dream about eating grilled chicken drumsticks, that's all. <laughs> Madam Adeptus? Oh, shoo you, you're awake. How do you feel? I... I feel... a little better. Thanks. I know I'll see Granny again someday. So I don't feel so sad anymore. Madam Adeptus, could I, uh, ask you something? Would you take me in as a disciple? Oh. And have you reasons for this sudden interest? She literally has nobody else to take care of her. I thought what she did back then was wrong. She felt really bad about it. Take care of your granddaughter, damn it. <laughs> Without that mistake, I would have never been born. Even though Granny lost her memories, she never forgot to show me how much she loved me. So, I thought maybe one day, I could become a cool adeptus like you, and help a whole bunch of people, just like Granny wanted to do. Upon some reflection, one supposes you are no mere mortal. The fact that you undies blood flows through your veins is proof enough of that. If this is what you desire, one shall make it so. Thank you so much, Madam Adeptus. No, uh, I mean, Master. I chew you. Are you sure about this? Paimon's gonna let you in on a little secret. We've seen Cloud Retainer's two other disciples, and they pretty much eat nothing but bitter herbs like Chin Chin and Violet Grass. <laughs> <laughs> If you join them, you'll never enjoy one Min restaurant's delicious cooking ever again. <sighs> How utterly preposterous. One has never enforced such a rule. Why did you? Every individual must find their own path to enlightenment. So long as one retains a pureness of spirit, one's dietary proclivities are quite irrelevant. Well, you say that, but Paimon's not seeing any tasty treats up here now, is she? Because we always have to bring them to her. Although Mount Outsong is rich in natural beauty, 
Its location does preclude access to certain finer mortal comforts. Oh, That's yeah. That's precisely why one plans to mm -hmm. relocate to Liyue Harbor. Shu Yu shall have the honor of becoming one's first disciple in the human world. <laughs> Whoa, you're leaving Mel outside? Well, be. <laughs> Is this why you took on the human form? One has never concerned oneself with the location of one's residence. From the very beginning, one has sought only solace and peace. Yet in the end, all of one's disciples ended up in Liyue Harbor. Gan Yu, Shen He, Yuan Dai. They all chose a life among the mortal world. One has reflected on this fact for many years now. One can only assume that it is due to some failing on one's part as an elder or master. A failing, perhaps, of recognizing what it was they truly wanted. Or failing One to recognize what a... Uh... What aspect of Liyue Harbor could have enticed them to remain there? <sighs> One could hardly offer an opinion on the matter. But perhaps some time in the harbor will prove instructive. Why are you all so silent? <laughs> So, does this mean we can grab a meal together in Liyue Harbor sometime? Hmm. One has precious little time to squander. However, if one finds oneself otherwise unoccupied, one would not be opposed to the idea. Mm. One will be assuming the identity of a human while residing in Liyue Harbor. You should take care to avoid disclosing one's true identity. Okay, Bayonetta. Don't worry, we'll help you keep it a secret. So, uh, when can we expect to start seeing you in the city? Perhaps in two days' time. One has some matters to see to before one's departure. Preparation is the key to success, after all. One plans to put up various items from one's collection for sale. The earnings should provide for a comfortable living in Liyue Harbor. <laughs> one has already picked out a handsome property near Chuhu Rock. Tis no small purchase, but what is mortal life if not one expense after another? Oh god, that is true. <laughs> Seems like you've really thought of everything. Then how about we meet up in Liyue Harbor in two days? A sensible plan. See you then. Oh, also, why don't you take this suspense insomnia mechanism as a souvenir? Any time you should feel ill at ease in the future, you may try quieting your mind and sitting in meditation as you listen to its melodies. It might help you find a new perspective. All right, just shove it in my pocketbook. In my uh, infinite pocket. Hey, didn't we promise Shincho that we'd tell him what we found out? Should we make a trip to the Feiyun Commerce Guild? It's totally up to you. Okay. Hold on. I need to go do something.
Uh, okay. It's nice to be stressed. Teleport to Lua Harbor? Add Astra at Thank you for comp Okay. You're way behind schedule. I want to actually go up here and Next on the agenda. Can we actually talk to him now? We're way behind. We meet again, dear friends. How did everything go? Great. And it's all thanks to you. You quickly go over the whole story with Xing Ji. Ah, I see. Xing. So the stories didn't get it right after all. Chiu. Even though she was a celebrated heroine, she had to bear a heavy burden that most could not hope to understand. Thank goodness for the help of that adeptus. At least she was able to recover what she had lost. Although I cannot claim to know exactly how their story will unfold from here, I trust the ending will be a happy one. Those united in a common purpose always find a way back to each other in the end. Thank you for helping me fill in the gaps. And don't worry, I'll keep this all to myself. It's not my story to tell, after all. Good boy. Okay. Wait, actually. Nope. The wind knows. Gun you around? No. No, it does not look like it. Okay. Okay, wait two days. Um. Okay, so now we have... How many Adeptus living in the city? <sighs> Your concerns are excessive and unfounded. This is but a simple collection of ordinary valuables. Such intense scrutiny is hardly necessary. Uh, to be quite honest, your insistence on that fact is my primary cause for concern. In what way are any of these ordinary? Every single item here could be worth more than everything I own combined. 
I simply can't risk shelling out that kind of mora without proper scrutiny. If I'm wrong, I would never be able to earn it back, not even if I worked every single day for the rest of my life. I have to be careful. Yes, you can never be too careful. Mm. We're here, Quo. Uh, Miss Shenyan, what are you guys arguing about? Ah, perfect timing. This ignoramus is questioning the authenticity <laughs> of my wares. I'll have you know, these items have remained untouched in my personal collection for several hundred years. To question their legitimacy is pure folly. Uh, okay. Several hundred years? It, indeed. <clears throat> They're family heirlooms, you see. Passed down over many generations, as families are wont to do. Yep, yep, they've definitely been around a while. We can vouch for her on that one. Hear that? Had I not found myself in need of Mora, I would scarcely have had the heart to part with them. God. Indeed, you should consider it an honor to even have the opportunity to behold them with your own eyes. <laughs> Doubt their authenticity any further, and I may just decide to take them to another buyer. Whoa, 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 please don't go. I apologize for any insult, miss. You see, I know full well that I lack the knowledge to judge the true worth of these items. If you could wait but a moment, I'm an expert to appraise them for me. should be here shortly. Oh, more right. Expert, you say? Oh, very well. I will wait for a little while longer then. Traveler, Paimon, this is my new residence. If you have cause to seek my company in the future, this is where you can find me. Master! Oh, it's you two again. Oh, you Hello. changed outfits. Sure you! You got a new outfit! It looks great on you. Mm-hmm. Master made it for me. I like it too. Huh? You know how to make clothes? I imagine she can do a lot. <laughs> <laughs> do I know how to make clothes? With the support of the proper mechanism, sewing is hardly a challenge. Master, I brought in most of my stuff. There's a few boxes left, but they're kind of heavy, so I just left them outside. <laughs> Fred not. I shall help you move them into your room. Uh, actually, I, I should probably uh, sort through my stuff a bit first. Everything's kind of messy right now, so maybe you could um, not look yet, Master? <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> it appears my young apprentice has her own fair share of secrets. No matter. Do what you must, child. Now, this expert you mentioned, when can we expect their arrival? Oh, it's so soon. Ah, there he is! Here, allow yep. me to make some introductions. <laughs> this is Mr. Zhang Li, a well-respected consultant at Wang Shang Funeral Parlor and an expert in all manner of valuables and antiques. <laughs> Mr. Zhang Li, this is Miss Shen Yun. She's the one who's looking to sell the collection of valuables I mentioned earlier. Ah. Uh. Huh. Ah, if it isn't Miss Shenyun. It has been quite some time since our last meeting. What a serendipitous reunion. Oh, in indeed, most serendipitous. Uh, have you been faring well as of late, Mr. Zhongli? Quite well, thank you. I was fortunate enough over the past few days to enjoy both a stroll in the mountains and a fresh brew of tea from the most recent harvest. The experiences left me with such insight and peace. Huh. Uh, so you two are already acquainted? Yep. Indeed. How fortunate we are that fate has brought us together again. If you are otherwise unaware, Allow me to inform you that Miss Shenyun is a well-regarded collector and appraiser. She is well-versed in all fields, and oft celebrated for her impeccable taste. You stand to gain much from this opportunity. <laughs> you are too kind, Mr. Zhongli. True collectors pride themselves on their wealth of knowledge and eye for detail. <laughs> I can say without a doubt that you are foremost in that regard. Why? You flatter me, Miss Shenyun. It, it would seem you are as self-effacing as ever. <laughs> Not at all, Mr. Sunshine. Not at all. God. Um, while I am low-low but in this conversation, I must ask, 
you two already knew each other, and you seem to have quite a cordial relationship. Can I be certain that you're not working together to swindle me? I mean, you never know. Ha! <laughs> huh, a preposterous accusation. The heavens themselves would collapse before we would conspire to do such a thing. Miss Shenyun speaks the truth. Contracts are built on honesty and trust. If that proves to be beyond your capabilities in this instance, this transaction may be taken elsewhere. Oh my god. No more. Let us depart. I guess, I guess. What fool will still harbor doubts after Mr. Zhongli himself has vouched for the goods? Miss Shenyun, Miss Shenyun, wait! I deeply apologize for doubting you. So, um, Mr. Zhongli, could you please give me a final verdict on the value of these items? There More than no you can explore. They are Export. indeed rare Export. and precious valuables. Take this mechanism, for instance. Though one may not immediately perceive its purpose, its structure and appearance are exquisite enough to merit it a place in any fine home. The same can be said for this one here. If you could hope to possess an item that so perfectly blends mechanical wonder with geometric grace. I am sure you have heard from your travels that the study of mechanisms is among the most wondrous arts in this world. With that in mind, I earnestly recommend procuring every last item in this collection. All right. Since I hired you as my consultant, Mr. Zhongli, I shall, of course, trust your good opinion. Then, in that case, Miss Shenyun, I'll take the lot. However, since the final sum is quite large, how about we start with an initial deposit through the Northland Bank? The Northland Bank? Huh. Oh, you refer to the fiduciary house. Oh, very well. <laughs> I fear people only use the term bank nowadays. In that case, I'll be off for now. I'll return to collect the goods once you've received the funds. Ooh, good deal. <sighs> <Shall we? laughs> My friends, have you been doing well? Oh, hey, splendid. Hey, how about you? Paimon didn't know you were such a busy consultant. Not only the funeral parlor. Quite pleasant as well. I had been quietly enjoying a cup of tea when Mr. Shaozu requested my services. As for you, Miss Shenyun, I presume you must be looking to settle in the city? I must say, the name Shenyun sounds exceedingly <coughs> strange coming from you. Perhaps you could dispense of that particular epithet in further conversation. Whatever for. Am I not addressing you as a friend should? Well... That is true, but... Also, keep your high identity <laughs> hidden. Alas, refer to me however you will. After all, a name exists such that others may address you with it. One is hardly ignorant of that fact. <laughs> it would seem that you have gained many valuable insights over the years, Cloud Retainer. One has indeed. One's previous days were all brief. Now that one has made up one's mind to move and settle, <laughs> one has gained a much better appreciation of the hubbub and commotion of the city, as well as the people's hard work and ardor. This city is much changed from how it was more than a thousand years ago. Not unlike the ocean tides, so too shall the movement of people ebb and flow. From turmoil to peace, enlightenment to aspiration, Human society possesses limitless potential. In another thousand years, the scene we witness here may change in ways that are impossible for either of us to imagine. All right, that's enough reflection for one day. No need to get all sentimental on us. You make a valid point, Paimon. Now that the sale has concluded, what say one plays the host as we try some specialty dishes together? One must profess great interest in trying bamboo shoot soup. Hmm? Perhaps you have forgotten, Cloud Retainer, but I once tried my hand at that dish. 
You were at the table on that occasion, so logic dictates that you should have already tried it. God. Oh? What occasion was this? It was a reunion between friends several centuries ago. Alas, you must have been too preoccupied to secure yourself a portion. Or perhaps our other companions simply availed themselves of faster reflexes on that occasion. Ha! Huh, hardly. T'was most certainly out of consideration for the others in attendance. In but a moment, one will show you what it means to have a true deafness of hand. It is settled then. Bamboo shoot soup, mora meat, crab roe tofu, triple layered consomme. We shall enjoy the lot. Mm. One has already passed word to Shenhun Ganyu to make a reservation. It is prime time for them to meet one's newest disciple. Is that agreeable to everyone? Yes. Also, your newest disciple has it been very be busy over there. Occasion. Thank you so much, Cloud Retainer. Shoo you! Come now, it is time to dine. Ah, this gentleman over here is Mr. Zhang Li. He is... Um... A humble employee of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Zhang Li. That should be everyone, right? Let's go! Sounds good! Actually, Master, have you ever tried Adeptus' Temptation? I heard it's impossible to stop eating after even just one bite. You know, cause it's super tempting and stuff. Is that true? Hmm, that sounds rather implausible. Although with the right preparation, certain dishes can be too delicious to resist. Huh? Why are you all walking so fast? Hey, wait for Paimon! Hey, hey, wait up! Wow, Paimon, you're not ready. <laughs> We're going to go get food. You clearly aren't ready for it. Wow. Okay. And those are useless. Okay, besides those, I guess I could try to do a couple story quests. Okay. Okay. Begin hang up. And just go down the line with these. Nope. Oh, my expedition reward rewards. Actually, wait. Uh, real quickly, I'm gonna grab them over here. Or I forget it. Uh, claim all. Dispatch again. Okay. Now, I'll teleport over here. Didn't think I'd be running into you here. <laughs> I guess it's my lucky day. How are your adventures going lately? Did you come here to get a new commission from Catherine or to get paid? And where are you going after this? Bet you've got a really exciting adventure lined up, huh? Oh my god. These are like actual character introductions. Nice to meet you, man. Oh, I'm talking too much, aren't I? I'm sorry. I was just so excited to run into someone I admire so much, and, uh, maybe a little starstruck, too. <laughs> you admire me? Of course! You're the mysterious traveler, the hero who quelled the storm terror crisis, and the leader of your own adventure team to boot! If Wait, I'm being honest, own adventure team? I'm totally jealous of all your achievements. 
adventure team? Yeah. Word's been spreading in adventurer circles for a long time now. Your adventure team shows up all over the continent. It might look like you're just handling a bunch of boring commissions. But then, as soon as something big goes down, you're always there. I have my reasons. Anyway, I just really envy you. You're sort of like the protagonist of this world or something. <laughs> Yeah, strange hand, how that works. I'm just some unlucky guy. My adventure team even. Uh, never mind. I shouldn't get all down in the dumps in front of someone I admire. I should be open to see what I can learn. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask. Oh boy. Um, when you go adventuring later, can I come and watch? Uh, don't you want to give me a hand? <laughs> Maybe you don't know. I'm a really unlucky person to have around. If you brought me along on an adventure, my bad luck would probably just screw everything up. I don't okay, so this is clearly 1.0 so Bennett before be people realized he was actually good. Okay, and here's where we break off. Okay. Really? I didn't mishear you. Did I? You mean, go adventure with you? Just like we do if I was on your adventure team? Wow, I never thought I'd get an opportunity like this. I'm not as great as you make it. You're so modest. I've heard all about the great things you've done. Not to mention the high praise you get from the Adventurer's Guild. Part of me feels like way, I might want to pull up a guide, but eh. To work together, let me share some recent intel with you. According Ooh. to my friend Fischl in the Guild, oh. a mysterious and dangerous ruin has recently been discovered. Based on how the Guild ranks the difficulty of its commissions, it's probably between a rank B and a rank A. Normally, Wait, I wouldn't the Guild has ranks? <laughs> this level of commission. Oh my god, uh, well, I didn't even know that. Luck, it's safer for me to take on commissions that are a few notches lower than my actual ability. <laughs> but since you'll be joining me this time, it'll be a piece of cake, right? Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot about that. Would stealing the Holy Liar der Himmel count as an S rank commission? There's no way the guild would issue an illegal commission like that. <laughs> By the way, this ruin might be a dangerous one, but that usually means there'll be some great treasure hidden inside. I can't wait! Oh, uh, do you usually make some food before you set out on an adventure? I have a bunch in my pocket. I usually leave straight away. Oh, I guess you're such a pro that you don't need to worry about that, huh? Awesome. Yeah. And what are we waiting for? Let's go! Doop doop. What level? Recommended party level. Jesus. Okay. And no, uh, understood. Let's get this interview started. I have high hopes for this journey. Let's use a bunch of characters that aren't from here, and one that is. Ooh, can actually walk down here. Interesting. Can you walk off the edge? Yes, you can. Neat. And no secret achievement. Screw you, game. It 
feels pretty ordinary here. I was expecting some kind of sense of impending doom. Could it be that because you're here with me, I'm feeling more at ease? <laughs> I, for one, am getting a strong sense of treasure in the area. Let's hurry up. Onward. Accompany Benny and proceed onward. I see lasers. Okay. This room setup seems to be somewhat tricky. The things that stand out are the two mechanisms in front of us. One on the left, and one on the right. But it seems like there's some sort of danger lurking around the mechanisms. If my years of adventure experience are anything to go by, it would be a disaster if we activated the wrong mechanism. <laughs> How about letting me try it out first? Uh, okay. How can I let you face danger alone? I could try it out myself, but what do you think we should do? Let's do it your way. Take one each, simultaneously Ooh, activate them? That's a possibility. Yeah. Let's try it then. I'll take the right side, you take the left. Go stand by the mechanism, and when we're both ready, let's trigger them. The door is open! We got it right! Good thing we went with your idea. Huh, you definitely live up to your reputation. And yeah! I haven't had this feeling of working together with friends in ages. I really missed it. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Doop -a doop -a doop. Ah. I'm gonna go out this door. Screw you. Really? You need me to... Oh my god. Screw you, game. <laughs> All sorts of things. doop a doop a doop I want break I want items from the breakables. Give me items from the breakables. Boo. Oh. So this room has four mechanisms, which means we need four people. That's what I'm thinking. Based on the last room, I think we're going to need four people to trigger all the mechanisms at the same time. Ah. If only the rest of Benny's adventure team were here. What's the deal with the Benny's adventure team anyway? I hate to admit it, but the truth is, it's gone. It remains in name alone. The only reason Catherine hasn't deregistered Benny's adventure team is because she took pity on me. In oh. fact, oh, the number of adventurers on the team has been below the registration requirements for a long time already. All the other members are gone? <laughs> yeah. Royce, Heckler, and Jack were all members of Benny's adventure team. A lot of things went down, but it mostly ended because of my bad luck. I completely understand why they quit the team. I'd never want to put them in danger on my account. <sighs> Don't take it personally. Yeah, I felt really let down at first. But I'm pretty much used to it now. It's okay. Even though I'm the only one left on Benny's adventure team, one day, I'm gonna make sure its name is known all over to that. You can do it, Panette. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let's focus on the problem at hand. Uh, sorry. The thought of the adventure team got me all sentimental. Now that I think about it more carefully, maybe we're making too many assumptions about the solution to these mechanisms. I mean, the solution may be different from the previous room? Exactly. Okay, 
I'll take a quick look at these mechanisms while you look around for any other clues. Okay, so there part. doesn't seem to be anything here. Oh, it's so dusty. Hyman bets no one has been here in a long, long time. Hey, that looks like a notebook. Let's grab it and check it out with Bennett, shall we? An adventurer's notebook? What's it doing here? Maybe it's got some clues on how to crack these mechanisms. Shall we take a look? Whoa, it really does have some information about them. Eric can hold on me while. By the door, someone need. The number of torches does not indicate the sequence of operation. We made this mistake in page one. The order has something to do with the position torch. Position of the torches on the ground. It Very seems valuable. Like the writer is holding something back. Well, since they placed their hopes on future adventurers, we can't let them down. And then hit it. The notes say that the mechanism at the entrance needs to be controlled by someone continuously. But if the mechanisms are activated in the wrong sequence, the person in charge of the mechanism at the entrance will die uh you think so surely it can't be that bad it says in the notes that eric can't hold on anymore that at least proves that it's possible to hold on up to a point anyway i'll take that roll we should at least do rock paper scissors <laughs> it's okay it's okay getting injured is just part of my daily routine oh my I'm pretty god used to it by now at the very least I should be able to last longer than this Eric guy. <laughs> and more importantly, I trust you. You can definitely crack this mechanism puzzle, right? I mean, come on. You're the great adventurer that I've always admired. Bennett. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's just focus on solving these mechanisms. Remember what the notes say. Hmm. The number of torches is not the hint for the activation sequence. Perhaps... The sequence is related to the position of the torches on the ground. Well, don't put too much pressure on yourself just because you're afraid I'll get hurt. Just go with your gut and do it. Okay. Number of torches, but the position of torches. Really? That was. You. you solved it? Thanks to. Thanks to you. Oh! Uh. <laughs> I didn't really do anything. You're the one who nailed this. Mm -hmm. Let's go and open the chest, shall we? I can't wait. Is that the wow. actual that was quite a haul this must be the proudest moment for any adventurer not only getting the chest but having this golden opportunity to join you on an adventure for me that's a pretty major treasure already <laughs> feeling neutral really? then i'm honored <laughs> but there's one other thing that i find the most amazing of all the fact that nothing really bad happened to us this whole adventure this is the first time in my whole adventure career that it's ever turned out this way. 
but it shows fortunate outcomes do exist. That sounds very deep, but I think I get what you're saying. You're saying that no matter how unlucky I might be, there'll always be times when luck is on my side, right? Yeah. yeah. This is a really big thing for me. And you know, I have a feeling that it was your kindness and goodwill towards me that helped me avoid a lot of bad luck. Even find a little good luck. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing to say that out loud, but all in all, thank you for everything. I hope I get to go on another adventure with you soon. Yay. Okay, more endings. <laughs> Activate the mechanism and obtain the fucking power of luck is right. <laughs> I don't know how I solve half these things, I just guess. Story quest. Okay. So there's an ending when we fail. Pretty ordinary here. Could it uh -huh. be that because you're high for when I'm getting a strip? Okay, so this time let Benny do his own thing. Okay. This room setup seems to the things that stand out are the two, but. It seems like if my years of adventure experience, how about letting me try it out? Go ahead. <laughs> leave it up, uh, but as you know, so I'll leave it to you to decide which of these two mechanisms we should trigger. To the left, That's to the, the left, to the left. Too. Let's see. Clicking sounds. What was that noise? I don't, I don't know. know. It looks like all the exits are blocked. Guess I still managed to get the wrong one. This... This is really bad. <laughs> okay. Nope. Shit. Story class. Okay, and then there are three possibilities here. Teleport. It's you! How are your adventures going? And where are you going after this? Who are you? Are you? Bennett. I'm your... Oh, I'm, I was just so excited to run into someone I admire so much. You're of that course. excited? You're the mysterious... If I'm being honest, I'm... Yeah. My adventure I team. Like you're just handling a bunch of... Just a anyway, coin instance. I just really me, on the other hand. Uh, never mind. I shouldn't get all down on the... Speaking of which... Um... When you go adventuring later, you want to just uh, <laughs> maybe you don't. If you brought me along on an adventure, I don't want to get you into any trouble. So, 
We can do something else. Mm -hmm. Something else? I guess you're right. Even just the chance to talk with you would be great too. Yeah, let's forget about adventuring for now. <laughs> but, uh, what would we do instead? Apart from going on adventures, the only other thing I do is take care of my dads in the Adventurer's Guild. So, You're... I really can't think of anything else to do besides adventuring. Your dads? Hmm. All right. Let me I think feel about like whatever it. we do, as long as you're involved, it'll be totally worth it. Uh, but don't forget, I'll be bringing my bad luck with me. So it probably won't be a very fun trip. <laughs> it won't bother. That's good, that's good. I was afraid you'd back out. So, where are we gonna go? Hang out around town. Cool, that would be nice. I was planning to stock up on some adventuring supplies anyway. Oh, sorry. I'm back to talking about adventuring again. You must think I'm so boring. It, it's okay. Oh, really? Well, of course you do. You are a famous adventurer after all. Uh, how about we go to the souvenir store? With you mean the one I cleaned out? Is my favorite shop ever. What can I say? Mondstadt's where I grew up. Let's go. Marjorie! Oh, hello, Bennett. I haven't seen you for a long time. I thought you were off adventuring in some faraway place that I've never heard of. <laughs> Far away oh, no. from here, it's not causing just, any kind of bad luck. A tight spot out there. Ended up getting held up for quite a while. <laughs> what else is new? So, what are you looking to buy this time? Oh, I was just checking in to see if the stuff I ordered last time was ready. Thought I'd bring my friend along. You mean Herman's custom adventure map? Hmm. That's right. An adventure map drawn personally by Herman, the great adventurer. It shows loads of recommended places for adventuring, and with his comments, too. Well, it did arrive, but unfortunately, the cart tipped over in a puddle on the way here. Good job. <laughs> Most of the goods were fine, but since the adventure map was an ink drawing, it's completely ruined. What? Oh, shoot. That's such a shame. Poor Marjorie. Yes, I am the one who has to bear the loss after all. <sighs> Maybe I should reconsider whether I'm happy to accept orders from Bennett in the future. Ouch. Okay. Well, do you have any alchemist's goggles? I've been thinking about replacing the old goggles on my head for a long time. I heard that there's a new type of goggles made specially for alchemists. When you wear them, you can see all the elements, even the slightest traces of elemental energy. I feel like I can do the, all that. Oh, I'm afraid these alchemist goggles you refer to are just a rumor. Mm. I talked to that alchemist, Timaeus. He told me there's no such thing. Oh, are you kidding me? My hopes dashed yet again. Well... How about some slime gel gloves? They exist, right? I saw an adventurer using them once. No matter what the weather, they can grip onto rock when climbing. I call them non-slip gloves. Those do exist. Unfortunately, we sold out of them just yesterday. They're quite a popular product. I don't think we're going to get anything here. <laughs> uh, it's okay. No big deal. I'm pretty much used to coming home empty-handed when I go shopping. Don't let it bother you. Oh, hey, how about I treat you to a meal at Good Hunter? We've been hanging out for a while now. You must be getting hungry, right? Let's go. And before it gets... Okay, Benny. Hi, Sarah. Table for two, please. Uh, I'm so sorry. 
I don't think we'll be able to serve you two today. Huh? How come? It doesn't seem really busy here. Not a food? Uh, well, how can I put this? Just before you two arrived, we received an order. Hmm. An entire delegation from Snezhnaya has come to stay at the Goth Grand Hotel, and they asked us to provide a meal service. So, although you might not see many people here, the kitchen is in fact busier than it's ever been. <sighs> they really know how to rope people into doing things for them. If only they hadn't offered to pay so much. Looks like we have to give up. <sighs> yeah. Would have thought we'd have so much trouble just trying to get some food. In which case, there probably isn't much we can do about it. Well, how about we just head to Mondstadt General Goods? We can at least get some basic adventure supplies. Are they all you're sold in. out? <laughs> you're in, right? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> huh, that's strange. The owner, Blanche, isn't here. Hmm, that's really rare. Let's go over there and see what that sign says. Fifty percent off all items. Wow, is this for real? A discount? Is this the store's generally not considered type? Don't most places have the seal every now and then? I mean, sure, but not when I'm around. I've never had such good luck before. <laughs> it must be because I'm with you. Wow, lucky folk really have a different. Mm-hmm. Glad I brought you luck. <laughs> <laughs> You're so nice. Then again, any discounts a bit meaningless without Blanche being here. Yep. Shall we wait here for a while? When Blanche comes back, I'm gonna buy a bunch. After all, this is a rare opportunity, especially for someone like me. While later. <sighs> Blanche is taking quite a while. It must be an emergency. I feel like she hardly ever leaves the counter. I have a bad feeling about this. Really? Don't worry. If we manage to catch a sale, today's gotta be a good day. Patience is a virtue for adventurers, too. There's no rush. Mm hmm. Do you think that Blanche is in some kind of trouble? I'm getting a bit worried. The 50% discount is a big deal, but compared to Blanche's safety, I mean. Nah, it's fine. Hmm. It's probably just all this waiting around making my imagination run wild, I guess. Uh, come on, snap out of it. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't usually say this, but do you think it's time we gave up? Land probably won't be back today, right? I guess I overestimated my luck. <laughs> it's just a coincidence. That's right. I shouldn't let myself get down about it. Oh, are you waiting for me? Oh, what? hi. We've been waiting for you for ages. You're finally back. I was getting worried about you. What happened? Did you run into some kind of trouble? Oh, nothing like that. I was just sorting some things out at home. Thanks for your concern, though. But why are you two waiting anyway? I posted a noticing that we'd be closed today. Uh -huh. Closed? We didn't see a sign like that. And anyway, isn't it 50% off the whole store today? That's the whole reason we waited all this time. Uh, let me check. Hmm, that's weird. It looks like someone removed the close sign. Or maybe the wind blew it away? Damn it, Pinty. The half price notice you saw was for yesterday. 
Sorry about that. You need to remove that then. Cheer up, Bennett. I'm fine. I should have seen this coming. So, oh. so sorry. I feel like I've done nothing but waste your time all day. No matter what I do, I really can't shake my bad luck. Oh, it's getting a bit late. I don't think you can accomplish anything if you keep on hanging out with me. So, let's part ways for now. And maybe next time it'll be different. That is, if you still want to hang out with me next time. <laughs> Rip. Okay. Okay, so before I got a new letter from an informant. Looks like the situation is changed. Okay. Oh, it's you. How are your adventures going? And where are you going after this? Right, you've got a re Who are you? Oh, oh, I'm, I was just so excited to run into someone I had You admire course. me. If I'm being honest, I'm... Yeah, My adventure it team? Might look like you're just handling just it anyway. coincidence. Just, me, on the other hand, I'm... Uh, never mind. I shouldn't get all down in the dumps in front of someone I admire. I should be open to... Speaking of which, um... When you go adventuring later, can I come and watch? Uh, <laughs> Maybe if you brought me along, and then I don't want to get you into any trouble. I guess you're right. But uh, apart from going on adventures, the so I really can't think. All right, I feel. Uh, but don't forget. So it probably. I'm looking. For really? Looking forward to. Seems like the rumors are all tr so. Walk in the That's wild? a good idea. For someone like me, I'm actually way more familiar with the wilderness than the city. Especially around Mondstadt. I mean, I'm not on the same level as Fischl, who is also in the Adventurer's Guild. But that's expected, because she works in the Intelligence Department. Oh, I know this gorgeous place. It's sort of a dandelion-covered meadow. It's got a great Mondstadt feel. Do you want to check it out? Can't wait. Awesome. I was worried that it wouldn't be your thing. Uh, shall we? Oh my god, where are we going, boy? <laughs> All the way out here. <laughs> what the hell? Damn it, Doc. Of course. Nowhere to hide. Let's do this. Okay. What's up, Doc? these yes okay Bennett sorry I I went off on an adventure without you okay navigate we my god, this is out of the way. Go 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Stay in one place, damn it. These are about to get dicey. Treasure is concerned. Uh huh. What? Okay. Oh, my God. Stay asleep. Okay, but uh, I. Not quite what I expected. Oh, what happened? It wasn't like this the last time I saw it. The dandelions are all stripped bare of seeds. Was there a windstorm? Or did some strange creature come by? I mean, it seems like there are quite a few enemies. I knew all this way for only you to end up seeing nothing. You couldn't have predicted this. And it's fine, we still got out, really? out for our nice walk. You're not just saying that because you don't want to hurt my feelings, are you? <laughs> You're so nice. Well, there's not much reason to stay here anymore. But how about we take a walk around the area? Maybe we'll find something interesting. Yeah, we'll find enemies. Oh, hey, the chest I... <laughs> they respond. Yay! Radish. Cabbage. camp up ahead I can see a whole load of treasure chests with no monsters guarding them feels I off was hoping I get a chance to flex my muscles a bit where did all the monsters go this is weird for me this kind of good fortune is super rare it must be because you're here <laughs> let's go check it out Ooh. I wonder what goodies are hidden in those chests. That's empty. everything. On to the next. Why are these chests so empty? It looks like there's nothing good. Oh, is that it? What a letdown. Yeah. Oh, we didn't miss any, right? Did they change?
Okay. No wonder monsters weren't guarding What's them. The problem? We got so much stuff today. We should be happy. How come you look so down? Surely not. Mm -hmm. Chests are always like this, aren't they? <laughs> loose mora, occasionally a cabbage, maybe a radish or something. Oh my a god. Bit of mora and some ingredients to fill our stomachs? That's good enough for me. The kind of chests you mentioned that have weapons, artifacts, or some other treasures inside, aren't they super, super rare? I've only seen them in places that are so dangerous you'd have to risk life and limb to get there. No. Yep. You're quite right. right. So let's not ask for too much. Oh my let's god. Who knows when the monsters might return? Shall we? With sword oh my sword. god. Oh my god. god oh my god benny i hate you this is your fault Nothing up here. Benny, you are actually the worst. Huh? here. The breeze is so comforting. Really lifts my mood. I've been adventuring alone for a long time. It feels so nice to have company. Honestly, I miss it a lot. <laughs> oh, uh, not that I'm super lonely or anything. I've got my dad to keep me company when I'm not <coughs> adventuring. Actually, did I tell you about my dads already? Back in the day, they were all great adventurers. They've got so many cool stories. They were the ones who rescued me from a perilous place when I was just a baby. And together, they raised me. Aww. Now, they're all old and frail. Some of them can't even walk by themselves anymore. So, it's my turn to take care of them. I'd love to take you to Okay, so you. it's not You'd so much... You'd be blown away by some of their stories. A gay romance instead. Sounds like there's a lot yeah, I absolutely. can learn. I picked up most of my adventure expertise from them. They're incredible. By the way, you 
did bring a wind glider with you today, right? The weather is so nice and the wind speed is perfect. Why don't we take the chance to go for a glide? Uh, it's raining. Oh. Your bad luck's getting ridiculous. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see this coming. It's storming. <laughs> Not to this extent, at least. Well, it seems that we'd better give up on that idea. Let's go do something else. <coughs> Bennett! So there you are. Hi, Jack. Is something going on? Are you here to see me? Some of the older adventurers in the guild are really hurting from their arthritis again. It could be because of the humidity today. You mean my dad's? That's too bad. They'll need someone to take care of them. Well, you're the one who usually looks after them, right? They're all asking for you. Okay, I'll be right over. Uh, oh, wait. I'll see you next time. Yeah, thanks for understanding. Though, I feel pretty bad leaving you here. Don't. You better hurry back. They're all waiting for you. Okay. Okay, sure. Well, I have to go now. Let me treat you to something next time. Oh. Bye. The medial. Okay. How can the weather suddenly brightened up the second that it left? Oh, poor Benny. Still, I blame him for getting attacked by all those monsters. That's 100% on him. Okay, and apparently I need to cook. I decided to actually look up a guide. Didn't think I'd be running into you. How are your adventures going? And where are you going after this? Nice well, to meet you. I'm just so excited to run into someone I... Of course! If I'm being honest, I'm... T yeah. Worth... It might look like you're just handling a... Anyway, I me on the other hand... Uh, never mind. Speaking of which, um... When you go adventuring later, can I... Uh, <laughs> if you brought me along, okay. I don't want to yep. get you into any trouble. Let's go really? on an adventure. Go... Aw, oh, shucks. Hearing you say that has... By the way, since we've got this rare chance... According to my friend Fischl in the guild, based yeah. on how the guild ranks the difficult... Normally, I... After all, with my... But since you'll be joining me this time, it'll be a piece of cake, right? Of Just course. Start. Defeating Storm Terror puts you on par with Guildmaster Cyrus in my mind. <laughs> by the way, this ruin might be a dangerous one. But that usually means... Oh, uh... Do you usually... Yes. Hmm. Guess the next time. Cautious two. choice. No wonder you're... Seems I really can learn a few things from you. <laughs> In that case, as per your tradition, let's get cooking. Okay. But yeah, I actually invented a pretty nice dish recently. I can't say it's super tasty, but I think it'd be perfect for an adventure. So, how about I show you how to make it? Okay, how about I fetch the ingredients? Cool! I really miss that old feeling of working with a partner. The ingredients needed for this dish are mint, radish, and slime condensate. One of each, please. You got that, right? I'll wait for you near the pot at Good Hunter. Come find me when you- Okay. them all that yeah it okay i was about to say wait where's the slime but it's in this one. Oh my god that was a lot of slime i have 19 of those oh my god <laughs> no 
now that we've got our ingredients, allow me to handle the cooking. It's done. Oh, I boy. I forgot the exact order you're supposed to add the ingredients in, but it should be all right. I'll pack it up and leave it with you until we get to the ruins. I feel this dish. Huh? It's just an ordinary dish. Hearing you say that is really kind of disappointing. <sighs> well, now that the food is ready. Okay. Ominous. Jesus Christ. Bennett. Bennett. <laughs> I hope you realize that's not good food. Oh, hey. Take it easy. Sweet. Sweet. Nothing. Bennett, you suck. There's. Wait. Oh, we're starting all the way. Ah, that's interesting. Take it easy. It feels pretty ordinary here. I was expecting some kind of sense of impending doom. Could it be that because you're here with me, I'm feeling more at ease? Huh. It looks like the door in the front is closed and only the door behind us is open. That mechanism must be for opening the next door, right? Well, that's pretty much our only right. option. Well, we're on the same page at least. I'll go try to operate it. Don't blow yourself up. Just as I expected. <laughs> But the door behind us is closed. Ah, oh sweet. no. Hmm. The true adventurer can't just barge on forward. It's also important to make sure there is a way back. That's what my dads always say. Let me try the mechanism one more time. The way forward closes, the way back opens. Hmm. It seems to nope. be jammed. No. Not what I expected, but not exactly unexpected. This is not good. It seems that we can't get back the way we came. But don't let it get you down. This kind of thing happens all the time. We just have to believe that there's always a way out. What the? What's going on? <coughs> hey, did you hear that? It sounded like it came from the door up ahead of us. Could there be other people in the ruin too? Let's go check it out. Hurry up. Oh my god. Benny, please. Over there! Another adventurer by the looks of it. Okay. Hey, fellow adventurer, we, like you, are here to. Bennett? <laughs> Royce? It's you! Oh, oh no. no. Oh, please. Oh, no, no, no. I'm so happy to see you again. How are you doing? I've been thinking about you and the other guild members a lot recently. This is the worst. <sighs> Why did I have to run into you? Oh. It took me forever to get this door open. Finally, I was about to advance further in, and all of a sudden, it closes again. Uh... I guess that's because I activated the mechanism just now. I knew it. I knew it! Of course it was you. I knew it as soon as I saw you. Mm. As long as you are around, no adventure can ever be a smooth ride. <sighs> this is turning into a very bad day. Can you really blame it all on someone else? Who are you? And what the heck 
were you thinking, teaming up with Bennett? Hey, don't fight, don't fight. Let me introduce Royce, a former member of Benny's adventure team and an old friend of mine. Friend? I didn't even tell you I was leaving the team and you still think of me as your friend? <sighs> Never mind. I'm a little on edge because what just happened, I'm sorry. Well, it was my fault. <laughs> you think? <sighs> I left because at that time, I really couldn't stand it a second longer. My adventures always used to go off without a hitch. But after joining your adventure team, I was tripping and falling one day, getting struck by lightning the next. Oh, God. Oh, and the number of times ruins would cave in on us? I just couldn't dismiss it as mere coincidence anymore. The last straw was when my left leg got hit by that random explosion that came out of nowhere. After that, I couldn't stand it anymore, both literally and figuratively. <sighs> so I left and went back to being an independent adventurer. Only afterward did I start hearing the horror stories about Benny's adventure team. <sighs> hey, you didn't volunteer for this. You're right. I really shouldn't have put the blame on him like that. Seriously, though, what all god right, did he piss right. off? It's all in the past now. Talking about all the bad things that happened will only make you more upset, right? Um, Royce, I still want to say sorry for all the trouble I caused you. Oh. No need to apologize to me. I have made my fair share of mistakes too. Oh. He's yeah. really a good. There's part. one more thing I need to tell you. The door we came through on the way in also got closed, and I don't think we can get it open again. So we're probably trapped here now. What a pain in the butt. <laughs> <sighs> Bennett. <laughs> Everything always goes wrong when I'm with you. You got him marked up again. Oh, well, there's nothing I can do. Sorry. <sighs> what am I going to do? I've used up all my supplies already. Oh, this don't worry. We have food. Go, we it? have food for Here, you. Today and don't worry. We have food for you. Bennett. <laughs> we have food for you, little boy. Little boy well, who's scared of just a little bad luck. I don't know luck. what to do to apologize. If you don't mind, maybe we can share some of our supplies with you. Uh, but of course, I'll have to check with my partner first. So, what do you think? This worthy? Okay. You cooked it. You can do whatever you want with it. <sighs> All right. I am quite hungry. I suppose I shall accept your kind offer. Is this the supplies you were talking about? Why do I have the feeling that this dish is a bit suspect? It's, fine. it's okay. Honestly, it's okay. It's been with my partner all along, so it shouldn't be tainted with my bad luck. If that's true, then... Okay. Anyway, this is not a time to nitpick. Then, I guess I'll just have a little bite. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, it tastes God. a little... Huh. What a strange texture. Ugh. What is that churning feeling in my stomach? Bennett. Oh, God. Hey, what's wrong? Royce! Okay. Damn it, game. Why? Why do you have to make that so hard? Okay, and the last one. Enter the ruins. Start. Start. Does it matter? It feels pretty ordinary here. Could it be that because, huh? It, that mechanism must be for opening the neck, right? I think so. Well, I'll go try to off. Yep. Okay. 
Now I have to wait for him to do things. Oh. He's our pain. Just as I Where's the fast forward button? Huh. Hmm. Let me try the map. Hmm. That it is it. To be, I think so. But this kind of thing ha me. Hey, sound like a kid. Let's go. Uh. Over there, another adventurer by the looks of it. Oh my god. These are a pain in the ass. Uh... Hello, fellow adventurer. We, like you, are Bennett? Uh, oh, no. Okay. I'm so happy to This is the worst. Oh. It took me forever. Uh. I knew it. I. As long as you are around, no adventurer. Who are you? Hey, don't let me introduce. Friend? <sighs> Well, you think? But after joining, I just couldn't dismiss it as the last yep. straw. Was only afterward did I start hearing the horror stories about Benny's adventure. I didn't think about him. All right. I'll, um. Oh. <sighs> oh. E so we're. Pr <sighs> Bennett. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh. No way. You don't know him. Because of my bad luck, though. You should focus more on yourself. So, you mean, as the unlucky one, I should think of myself more? If you only think about caring for others, who will take care of you? <laughs> you do have a point there. It's just, I've been used to thinking this way for a long time. Hearing you say that, though, I feel like maybe I do need to take better care of myself. Uh, I'm sorry, Royce. We'll have to keep the rest of our supplies for ourselves. But let's try to find a way out together. <laughs> Nobody cares about your supplies. Knowing you, they're probably cursed anyway. Yes, they are. The exit together. Count me out. With Bennett around, I'm sure any exit I find will only be blocked. Well, then take care, Royce. You. <sighs> you take care too, Bennett. God. <laughs> Investigate the vicinity and find. Oh. Oh, what awful luck. I've checked every single nook and cranny in this place. Where are you? Oh, still not a clue. Is there really no way out of here apart from that broken mechanism? I guess so. Well, guess our only hope now is to wait for help. Oh my Adventurers god. The Adventurers Guild might notice our disappearance and send someone. Then again, that depends on how lucky we are. If the rescue team takes too long to find us, we might already be... Oh, I hate feeling helpless, sitting here waiting for the end to come. You really have zero expectations when oh, it comes to help. Yeah, I am being a bit too pessimistic. No, come on. This isn't like me. Okay. Let's double check our supplies. Our priority right now is figuring out how long we can hold out. Take out the dish I packed. Oh god. Uh, it's probably a little late for this, but it looks kind of strange. Hmm. Is there really something wrong with my cooking? I hate to say I told you so. Uh, this is bad. This is all we've got in terms of supplies. I should have thought this through more. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, maybe we can find another use for it. Like what? Long story short, I once got injured when I was in this severely dangerous place and I got knocked unconscious. I really thought that was going to be the end of me. But turns out that's not how it went. Instead, according to Guildmaster Cyrus who rescued me, after I lost consciousness, it was as if my bad luck just stopped affecting me. He took me back to Mondstadt without encountering any trouble at all along the way. And another time, I got knocked out in a field during a thunderstorm, but then I went the whole night without getting struck by lightning. I wonder if my bad luck is related to whether I'm awake or not. Or in other words, it might be my consciousness that brings me bad luck. 
Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Not really a sacrifice. I was just thinking, maybe if I eat this strange dish, it's possible that I'll lose consciousness, right? Once my bad luck is gone, surely help will be here soon. It's just too tragic. <laughs> it's okay. It's better than dragging you and Royce down with me. You made a great point earlier when you said that I should take better care of myself. But right now, this is a life or death situation. Hope you can understand. <sighs> here goes. Bennett, no. God. Yay, all of Bennett's things. Quest, story quest. Oh. Yay. Okay. Good roll. All right, maybe I'll take one more day off and knock out the rest of the work once I'm feeling up to it. Okay. Nope. Nope. Oh my god. These are all going to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> Excuse me, have you perchance seen any evil spirits? Evil spirits? Oh, my apologies. You're not from around here, are you? This question must sound a little confusing to you. I'm Chong Yun, a local exorcist from Liu. Those versed in the arts of exorcism refer to all forms of demons and monsters as evil spirits. Evil spirits have existed since ancient times. They lurk among the shadows in the lands of Liu, stirring up all sorts of trouble and mischief. It is my duty to exercise or destroy them, and protect the citizens here from their evil doings. Sounds similar to the work of adventures. Really? Please, enlighten me. I have also been traveling. <laughs> Mostly at one in collecting treasures, defeating monsters. Oh, I see. There are some similarities. Sorry, I digress. Judging from your response, it seems you aren't well versed in the realm of evil spirits, but that's understandable. If I may ask, have you happened to come across anything strange recently? Sometimes even the most trivial matters prove helpful in my hunt for evil spirits. I already know that you ward them away without even having to try. Nothing oh, in particular. I see. Well, fair enough. In that case... I guess I'll just have to try my luck with the clues I already have. What clues do you have? <sighs> Only some scattered reports, really. Nothing too significant yet. But if you're interested, I can tell you about some of the more useful ones I've gathered so far. I read a flyer that said, The test of courage is now being held on Wu Wang Hill. Bring your best friend and test your courage together. Mm. Then, recently, the sounds of footsteps and shouting have been heard outside people's windows at night. The noises have frightened the children, and they are unable to sleep. And a huge shadow has appeared in Guayli Plains. It flies and swirls, summons down fireballs, and makes all sorts of strange noises. Cases such as these might actually be worth our attention. Test of Courage, doesn't that sound like an advertisement? I think something strange must have happened at the Test of Courage. Uh -huh. I guess this so-called test is supposed to be like a test of metal. 
Yeah. Its purpose must be to try the will and power of exorcists. No, I think it's just think something kids do to get a girl to hold on to. Although they all seem far-fetched, I better not tell him that he seems like quite the persistent character. I think character. the clue about the test of courage is the most relevant one I have so far. If strange things have been happening at the event, then evil spirits may well be the cause. Uh -huh. But there's an unusual requirement for this event. You must be a team of two people in order to participate. The aim is to strengthen the relationship between the two participants. Huh? Strengthen the relationship? Oh, sorry. I don't really get it. Anyway, if you have the time, would you join me for this event? You seem to have a good eye for discerning these clues. With your adventuring experience, I'm sure we'll track down those evil spirits in no time. Not interested. Please, you must go with me. I don't know if I'll be able to find anyone else suitable to join me. My best friend is busy with other matters, and, and I worry that anyone else won't even be able to protect themselves. Nah. Ah, you have my thanks. We should make haste. If there are evil spirits at the event, then things could get dangerous. Oh my god. Dude. Hold on. I need to get some eye drops. Nope, nope. Yeah, that's definitely a test of courage. You can't even make it here without fighting. My god. Please be careful, everyone. Pay close attention to your surroundings and stay vigilant once you enter. And most importantly, don't get separated from your partner and wander off on your own. You'll most certainly be in for a scare if you go alone. Did you hear that? He's warning the event participants. Maybe something strange really did happen here. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Welcome to the test of courage. You two must be very close friends. Actually, we just met. Mm. <laughs> no problem at all. Don't be shy. Just enjoy yourselves. But please drink this before you enter the test of courage. This drink will boost the yang energy inside your body and lift your courage. Not only that, but this drink will also allow you to see things which are usually hidden from the naked eye. Pretty exciting, huh? Y yang energy? That's right. Ghosts are said to be full of yin energy, so more yang energy will surely deter them. Oh, I've never heard of such a drink. Is it a secret recipe? Or maybe some kind of potion? I think, yeah. Surely not. He keeps emphasizing that there are frightening things inside. I'm almost certain it's some powerful evil spirit. Mm -hmm. If this drink really does boost Yang energy, then it's potentially dangerous for me. Huh? You see, I have a very rare constitution called a pure Yang spirit. Mm. Such a constitution allows me to scare away evil spirits, but it also makes me prone to emotional impulses. You seem very... I am constantly focusing to keep my mind and body in a normal state. 
Which usually works until I suffer from some external stress. Come now, what's with that serious expression on your face, lad? You aren't worried about the drink, are you? It's delicious and quite effective if I do say so myself. There's nothing to worry about. Or if you're still unsure, perhaps only one of you could take the drink. The person who takes the drink can protect the one who doesn't. It'll be exciting either way. Hmm. It's hard to refuse when you put it that way. Just let me drink it alone. All right, here it is. Please drink it slowly. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> yes, that's it. You did great. You two may enter now. Oh, wow. So spooky. Actually, let me get the actual cat out. Yes, yeah, scaredy cat. Yeah. So this is the test of courage. Oh, there are more people here than I imagined. They could all be in grave danger if there really is an evil spirit here. We must get to the bottom of this. I'm not too sure where we should start, but I know we'll find something once we start looking. These innocent participants are completely oblivious to the potential danger here. We'll need to protect them. Uh... What? Please, enlighten me. You're taking this event way too seriously. I see. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I'm certainly a stranger to entertainment, after all. I mostly spend my time purging evil spirits and practicing thaumaturgy. Besides training, I also need to constantly focus on my own emotions to avoid losing control. So I rarely have any time for leisure activities. I'm completely unfamiliar with what others would consider entertainment. Okay. <sighs> well, either way... Let's check the area for any evil spirits, just in case. Where should we start? This is all your fault! This place nearly scared me to death! All right, all right, don't lose your temper. We're leaving now, okay? Hmm. To think I used to believe you were brave. Ouch. But, but this is different. <laughs> Excuse me, but I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Did you perchance encounter an evil spirit? If so, I'm here to track it. Could you please tell me which direction it went? Uh, who are you? No, I didn't see anything, so don't ask. So please just leave me alone. I don't know what you're talking about, and I certainly don't want anything to do with an evil spirit. My apologies. Perhaps you misunderstood what I meant. I only wish to know what the spirit looks like and which way it went so we could track it down. If you can't describe its appearance, then at least show us the way it went. Uh, show you the way? No, I'm not going anywhere. No, no, we're not taking you anywhere. I am just asking you to show us- Ugh, No, forget it! All right, that's enough. Listen, if you keep talking like that, she might actually end up believing in that nonsense. Can't you see she's terrified enough already? You could go find whatever strange things you're looking for on your own. Uh, my apologies. I didn't mean to frighten her. Quite a serious exorcist. Yes. I'm just trying to hunt the evil spirit you mentioned to prevent it from hurting anyone. Okay. Isn't it a bit strange for an exorcist to come to the test of courage looking for evil spirits? Oh, I think I get it now. But we didn't say anything about a ghost or spirit. I think you misunderstood us. I brought my girlfriend here to have some fun, but instead she got frightened by all this spooky atmosphere. Now we'll just have to go home. <sighs> I'm not too sure what you're looking for. But we did see some dark shadows making strange noises. Thank you very much. That's very helpful. A couple leaves. Well, you heard it. It seems something unusual is going on here. But why would they ever want to come here if they get scared so easily? 
point isn't getting scared, it's relying on each other in the face of fear and getting somebody to cling on to you. Interesting. I have never had any fear of evil spirits, so perhaps I'm unable to understand their feelings. It's amazing that you're able to pick up on that. Good thing I brought you as my partner. Oh anyway, my god, you're... Let's keep searching the area. So dense. Oh. Okay, what are you two doing? Don't come over here again. Seriously, just leave me alone. Wh why must you be so obstinate? Just calm down. It's not what you think. No, don't even bother. You think I don't know what you're doing? Stop. Not a step closer. Oh don't my be god. Afraid. I'll exercise it right now. Exercise it? What? Who are you? And what are you talking about? Wait, what? Just calm the fuck down. Oh, he's just a person? Uh, it seems I've made a mistake. Uh -huh. After seeing her resist so violently, I thought for sure an evil spirit was trying to harm her. Oh my no, god. It's not like that at all. She's just throwing a tantrum. Excuse me? A tantrum? <laughs> this is supposed to be a date, you know? And now that we're finally here, you don't want to go anywhere and you just want to hang around the entrance. What's the point in that? All right, fine. I was just about to walk in with you. Look, I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit scared, that's all. That's why I've been stalling. I was wrong, okay? Now that someone else is here, let's take a moment to calm down. I think we're intruding on them. Oh, I wasn't thinking clearly. It was pure impulse. I'm sorry. Please, forgive me. Will you give me another chance? Fine. I know I shouldn't have yelled at you. Oh. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. You're still the best, babe. Uh, who said you could call me babe? You're so annoying. Mm. Uh, so they really are on a date? But why in such a dangerous place like this? <laughs> Perhaps we should just leave them alone. Oh. All right, now the actual ghost. Visited by the yokai. The actual ghost. Hey. Hmm. These are traces left by an evil spirit. No doubt about it. The traces are quite weak, though. So there are only two possibilities. Either the spirit that left the traces is very weak, or it has already left for some time now. Either way, these possibilities prove my hunch that there's indeed an evil spirit here. Are the evil spirits the reason why the hill is so gloomy? No, I don't think so. There have been many rumors regarding the cause of Wuwang Hill's gloomy aura, but nothing is certain. Although, once it became the murky place you see now, it also began to attract more evil spirits. Huh. Anyway, these traces lead us one step closer to finding an evil spirit. Well, at least we've found some useful clues. We'll need to keep searching further in. But to avoid alerting the evil spirit, perhaps I should wait here. You're not coming, Mr. Pure Yang. When we were collecting clues just now, we were still unsure whether any evil spirit is actually here or not. But now that possibility seems higher, it would be wise to proceed more cautiously. Our efforts will be wasted if my yang energy scares the evil spirit away. Besides, I trust your capability and experience as an adventurer. If you come across a powerful demon, I'll get there as fast as possible. Hi, hi. All right. Thank you. I can't even lie, this is so boring. I've never seen half the stuff in here before. Ugh. I'm beat. Finally, I can take a break. Ugh. I wonder if I took things a little too far. A few people seem scared out of their minds. Hello. Are you a worker huh? here? 
Hey, you shouldn't be here. <sighs> Never mind. I assume you overheard me anyway. Yep. I work here pretending to be a ghost, but now's my break time, so I took off my costume. I get all hot and stuffy wearing that thing. So there are no real ghosts here? Of course. How could there be real ghosts here? No one wants to see a real ghost, neither us nor the participants. They just come here for the atmosphere, or should I say, the chance. Everyone wants the chance to feel the thrill of excitement. If people find themselves in a scary situation, they'll say things that they'd never dare to otherwise. That's what the test of courage is all about. I fully understand. He's going to be so disappointed. <sighs> okay. I should get back to work now. Hope you and whoever you're here with have a fun time. Killjoy. Rush. I see that. Wow, I've never seen half the stuff in here before. You're back. How did it go? Did you see an evil spirit? No, just a staff member. Uh, so that's what's going on here? No evil spirits? No danger? It's all just a setup? It's just for entertainment, dude. I... I, I see. So I was wrong again. In that case, I suppose there's no reason for us to linger here any longer. Hey, remember that strange mist we found? Yes, that was proof of an evil spirit's presence, but we can't be sure if the spirit's still here. Actually, I would also like to investigate that further. Well, let's have a look. You're right. I'll focus my mind and spirit. Perhaps it'd be more effective for us to split up. Evil spirits will keep their distance if they sense the power of my pure yang spirit. So you'll be more likely to find one if you're on your own. I might defeat this spirit by the time you arrive. Another means to the same end. Don't worry about me. Purging it is the priority. I'll take this side, you take the other side. Let's move. Hello, ghost. How are you? Help you? Um, that exorcist with the blue hair is so scary. Uh, can you lead him away from here? He makes me feel so frightened. Are you being affected by his yank energy? I wouldn't dare get anywhere near him. Uh, his energy, it's so horrible. It'll make me disappear. Uh, I don't want to disappear. I wonder if he'd consider you an evil oh, spirit. I have an idea. Um, I saw the exorcist with blue hair arguing with someone over there a few minutes ago. I'll scare those troublemakers away, but you have to ask the exorcist to let me go, okay? Are you telling that truth? Of course. Chen Chen never lies. So, um... What do you say? He'll be the one that decides. I'll try to explain. Um, uh, okay. So, I'll take that as a yes? I hope the exorcist with blue hair is a good person. Um, so, I'll help him and you'll go talk to him. Uh, hopefully then he'll leave me alone. Uh, sound good?
Oh, watch hey, that you... You've been turning the whole place upside down looking for evil spirits. Other participants are starting to complain. Oh, boy. Yeah, why would an exorcist show up at the test of courage and tell everyone that there are no ghosts here? You're just stirring up trouble. Honestly, I find this whole thing quite confusing. If there really are ghosts here, then you're using them to make more of regardless of the participant's safety. You tell me, is that ethical business practice? Oh my god, dude. If there dude. are no ghosts here, then your so-called test of courage is nothing but a big scam. Not only are you avoiding my questions, but now you accuse me of causing trouble? I've already told you. This is what kind of event the test of courage is. It's not our problem that you're taking it so seriously. You're and now an that idiot. you're disturbing our participants, we'll have to ask you to leave. If anything about this made any sense at all, I would leave of my own volition. But if I leave now, I'm leaving evil spirits to their own devices. Oh my god. Help! Ghost! There's a ghost! Run for your life! What? What's going on? Everyone's starting to panic. I is there really a ghost? <sighs> Don't be silly. But if everyone starts running, someone could get hurt. Everyone, just calm down. No need to panic. Please move in an orderly fashion. I see. So there's no evil spirits here, just a wandering ghost. And she scared everyone away because I was in trouble? She only scared them. She didn't hurt anyone. If things are as you say. And she doesn't seem like a malignant spirit. She's a ghost, but she's also just a kid. <sighs> All right. As long as she promises not to harm anyone, then I'll pretend that I never knew about her. However, if she ever does harm anyone, it'll be my job as an exorcist to come and purge her, to mend my mistake. I will be equally responsible to... No. No, no. This is my call. I shall take full responsibility. Shut up. We should go now. It doesn't seem we're particularly welcome here anyway. Yeah. What's wrong? You won't be I have faith in my judgment of good and evil. Mm. But if I begin to neglect my perception of good and evil, it may lead to something I'd regret for the rest of my days. Didn't expect you to have a gentle Wait, side. You mean... You didn't think I could be fair and reasonable? Really? Do I look so obstinate? I know you better now. You're just really fucking dense. Yeah, you're right. Alright, we should leave now. Let's go say goodbye. Uh, okay. Bye bye. Okay. I'll uh, just. Hmm, I okay. What's inside this package? Uh, no, no, no. No peeking at my customer's stuff. You're back. How did it go? Uh, no evil spirits? No danger? That's all there is. I... Uh, and that. Let's head back. I'm sorry. This has all been a waste of your precious time. 
Maybe we could hang out together some other time. We checked the test of courage. But if only we had found some evils. Okay, I don't care. Uh. Take the test. Okay, doop doop. So this one is Please be careful, everyone. And most importantly, did you hear that? Let's investigate. Okay. Actually, we no problem. But please drink this drink. Not only that. Okay. That's right. Oh, I've never heard of such a drink. Is it a? Hmm. But if this drink really does boost, yeah. You... Such a okay. constitution allows me to scare. I am you seem like now. A... It's delicious and quite. Or if you're still unsure, perhaps. I'll... Hmm. It... Let's both drink it. I'll All be right, sure. Here it is. Please drink it slowly. <laughs> yes, that's it. You did great. You two may enter now. I'm starting to feel something after that drink. Uh, no, no, I'll be fine. Let's go investigate the area. Mm-hmm. Uh... So this is the tech. They could all be in grave danger if they're... I'm not too okay. sure where we should stop. These innocent participants are completely oblivious. What? Please. Here like, to have fun. You mean being scared is like entertainment to them? Yes. I see. I mostly spend my time purging. Besides training, I also need to const... So I rarely have any time for leisure activities. I'm completely unfamiliar with what others would Well, you need to get out more. Well, either way. Have your uh, good friend. Yes. I'm gonna go straight over here. Hmm. These are traces left by an evil spirit. No doubt about it. The traces are quite either way. These possibility. No, I don't think so. Although once it became the murky place. Anyway, these traces. All right. Yeah, okay. yeah. But this is Excuse me, if so. Uh, who are? No, I didn't see it. Okay. Face. My apologies. Yeah. If you can't just I wish you could no, no. just no. No. All right, that's enough. Can you see she... uh, My apology. Yes. Isn't it a bit strange? Oh. I brought my uh -huh. girl. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, you heard it. But why would they ever want to come here? Uh, yeah. It's amazing okay. you're able to yep. pick up. Anyway. Yep. Cool. Oh my god, get outside. Don't let your work consume you. Don't come over here. Seriously. W why must you be so up? Just calm down. It's not... No, don't even bother. You think I don't know... Stop. Don't be afraid. Exercise. Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh. After seeing her... Nah, it's not... Excuse me? And now that we're... All right, look... Um, now that someone else is here, let's take a moment to calm down. Uh, I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. P please. <laughs> oh. Uh. Uh. Yep, okay, cool. You're not gonna feel well. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, I think the drink we had earlier stirred the yang energy inside my body. If there's too much yang energy, I'm afraid that I won't be able to control myself. Even though you were willing to accompany me this far, uh, if I lose control, I fear that I'll be the one endangering everyone here. Okay. Sure. 
Sure. All right. You are an experienced. That's the turk. I wonder if I took things a little too far. You people seem scared out of their minds. Huh? Ah, uh, yeah, cool. I work here pretending to be a ghost, but. Oh, uh, plants. Of course. No one wants to. They just come here if people find themselves in a scary situation. I think. <sighs> I'm on fire now. I'm on. I'm what now? Oh, you're back. So, oh. I'm, huh? No evil spirits? No danger? It's all just a setup? That's all there is. I. Uh oh, now that everything's settled, but could you. You don't it's look fine. so good. Uh, no. Okay. Go. Are they? I'm starting to feel something after that drink. Uh, no, no, I'll be fine. Let's go investigate the area. <sighs> so this, they could all be in. I'm not too sure. Yeah. Class and participants are complete. What? What you mean? I see. I mostly spend my besides training, so I rarely have any time for. Mm. Well, it... Okay, people. This is all your. All right, all right. Hmm. But this is. Excuse me, but if so, I'm here to track. Uh, who are you? No, I didn't see any. So please just. My apologies. If you can't describe its appearance. Uh, show you the way? No, I'm not going anywhere. No, no, we're not taking you anywhere. I am just uh, no. All right, that's enough. Listen, can't you see she's terrified? Uh, my apologies. Yes. Right, Isn't serious. It a bit strange? Oh, I brought my girl. <sighs> Thank you very much. Well, you heard it. But why would they ever want to come here? Yeah, that's the thing. point. It's amazing. Anyway. What? Which to controller? <laughs> These are tr the traces are qu either way. These poss- No, I don't- Although, one- Anyway. Yep. Cool. Doop, 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 doop. Don't come over here! Seriously! Yeah. Why, why must you call cool. No, don't come- Awesome. Stop. Don't be afraid. Exercise it. What? Who are you? Wait, what? Oh, just calm down. He's just a pr after seeing her resist. Nah, it's not. Excuse me. And now that we're fine. All right. Look, uh, um, now that someone else is here, let's take a moment to calm down. Uh, I wasn't. F I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> fine. Oh. Uh, who's? Ah. Uh, <sighs> doop doop. Uh, sorry, uh, I think the drink, if there's too much yang and if I lose control. Let me help you find a place to rest. Do I actually uh, get any? Uh, uh, feeling. Uh, usually, I can manage by simply eating a popsicle. <clears throat> but that's only under normal circumstances. I may need something uh, a bit more potent in this case. Like cryo slime condensate or 
cryo whopper flower nectar, for example. You've right. collected these during your adventures, right? Perhaps they're fine as typical ingredients, but... I'll go get some cryos. Thank you. I should be able to manage for the... It's dangerous to walk alone here, isn't it? You have no idea who or what you'll meet. Hello? Hmm, you seem to be pretty calm. You know, there's a saying, you can't keep your shoes dry if you're walking along the river. You're bound to run into something in such a strange and eerie place. And what you encounter here could become a nightmare that haunts you for the rest of your life. Oh, really? Huh? How are you so calm? People usually run away in terror before I can finish a sentence. Don't you have a costume or something? Yes, I have one, but it's too hot to wear. And besides, a more sophisticated way to play a ghost is to create a creepy atmosphere that scares people psychologically. In which case, my appearance becomes irrelevant. Besides, I'll never be able to scare someone like you who doesn't believe in ghosts to begin with. Oh no, I have seen plenty of ghosts. You just aren't scary. Sounds like to me you're slick. Hey, that's not true. Oh, I better go find some wimps to scare now. You should go back and find your partner. He might be terrified by now. Mmm. Yep, super terrified. Okay. Thanks for finding these ingredients. Although I still feel... Uh, so, did you find... Huh? Oh, does that mean all the strange things here are just a hoax? Sorry, but it seems to be I... the truth. Uh, and that... I'm oh, sorry. This has all been a waste Don't of... Don't take it to heart. At least we... Yeah, and that one doesn't give you endings, but... <laughs> I'm starting to feel something after that drink. Uh, no, no, I'll be fine. Let's go investigate the area. Uh, sure, hurry up. <sighs> they could all be... I'm not too sure what these innocent participants are compl... What? Pl you mean... I see. I mostly spend my- besides training, so I rarely have any time for le- mm, well-
You do. Don't come over here. Seriously. W why must you just calm down? No, don't even stop. Don't be afraid. Exercise. Wh Wait, what? Just calm oh, down. He's after seeing her. Nah, it's. Excuse me. And now that we're. All right. Look. Uh, uh, now that someone else is here, let's take. <sighs> I was. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh. Fool. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 hmm. The traces are either way. These possibilities. No, I don't think. Although, once a anyway. This is all your. All right, all right. Hmm. Uh, but this. Is Excuse me, but if so, I'm here. Uh, who are? No, I didn't. So please. Just My apologies. If you can't describe. Uh, no, no. We're. Uh, no. All right, that's enough. Can you see she's terrible? Uh, My apologies. Yes. Yeah, Isn't it a bit okay, uh, yeah, I cool, my awesome. Thank you very much. Well, you heard it. It's but why would they ever want to come here? Interesting. It's amazing that you're able anyway. Let's Yeah, it's amazing you can be so dense. It's also amazing that they made these so annoying to want to get everything. Uh, sorry. Uh, I think the drink if there's too much yang energy if I lose control. Let me find you a place to rest. Uh, feeling. Uh, I may need, like, cryo slime condensate. You've collected, perhaps they're fine. Okay, cryo whopper flower. Thank you. I should be able. And then from here. Mind the side effects. Taking a turn for the. Don't blink. Nowhere to hide. Incoming. Okay. It's dangerous. You have no idea who or. Hmm, you seem to be pretty com You're bound to run into- And what you encounter here could become a I don't a get it. What are that, you doing huh? here? How are you so calm? People usually- You look like an yeah, average person. In which case, besides, I'll never be- hey, You're that, slacking. You ah. Okay. I'm curious now. Does this mean I actually? He <laughs> he. Okay. Well, if I already got that. Yep, cool, awesome. Uh, Come on, enough procrastinating. Let's go. Doop. Doop. Okay. Excuse me. Have you perchance seen any evil spirits? Evil oh, spirits. Apollo, I'm Chong Yoon. Evil spirits. It is my duty to exercise or destroy them, and protect the citizens here from their evil doings. That's what the vigilant yaksha. How did you come to know of the vigilant yaksha? I have great respect for the yakshas. For generations, yakshas and exorcists have been protecting Liyue together. One in plain sight and the other in secret. Sorry, I digress. Judging from your response, it seems you aren't well versed in the realm of evil spirits. 
but that's understandable. If I sometimes even the most trivial me oh, in that case, I guess I'll just please <laughs> yeah, yeah. Start, if you're interested. I read a flyer that said the test then recently and a huge shack cases such as these might actually be worth our attention. Sounds like a ruin, ruin hunter. hunter. Hmm, that would. Th uh, do you think I'm not decipher? They all sound far fetched. So you don't think any of these clues are related to evil? Sorry. <sighs> Please give me a moment to calm myself. Man, you are something else. <sighs> no, it's fine. I've been this way since I was young. No, not at all. I guess you could say that I just tend to be... unstable. You know, this tendency of getting stirred up easily is what people call... I can tell from your yes. Well, such a constant, but I must constantly focus on my emotions. Otherwise, I may easily do something out of control. Anyway, I carefully selected these clues from an ocean... Oh no, I'm still feeling quite uncomfortable. There's heat growing in my chest. I... I... I can't breathe. Try rubbing your vision on your forehead. No, uh, I'll, I'll be all right. I, I brought some popsicles with me for just such situations. Mmm, popsicle. <sighs> I, I feel much better now. Unexpected solution? Uh, it's quite effective. I'm always sure to bring some popsicles with me whenever I go out. <sighs> Thank you for your concern. I'm fine now. But what should I do next if all these clues are irrelevant? Actually, so is Buwash. Yes, I've noticed him too. It's no coincidence that we both noticed it. I'm sure he's watching us. But it doesn't seem he has any intentions other than looking at us. Perhaps there's something he wishes to tell us. Maybe he's just shy. Mm. Uh, hey, kid, what do you want? Uh, huh? Sorry. No, please, relax. There's no need to worry. No, there's nothing on my mind. My sister just loves... I'm her big brother, and I should take care of her, but... Mom said... Oh, you mean one of my popsicles? I'm afraid you... Oh, it doesn't matter. My sister's never had any... I see. Hmm. Well, I only have two popsicles left. These popsicles are very important to me, and I might need them if we encounter an evil spirit. Without them, I might not be able to control my constitution. Make ice. Okay, what if you give him one? Just give him one? Hmm. You see, my young friend, these popsicles are very- That's okay. I don't need one. Whoa! It's already starting to melt! I never expected that something I used to suppress my yang energy would be so appealing to kids. Hmm. Oh my god, you are anyway, an idiot. But earlier it seemed like you could easily discern which clues were most credible. You must truly be a knowledgeable and seasoned adventurer. Oh my god, you are an idiot. I feel like you only left the temple that you were training at for like... Or like, did... Were you... Have you been locked up? For like most of your life. Because if you're out. Even doing kind of. Doing some kind of exorcism. I'd imagine you would pick up on something. I still have numerous clues from. If you'd be willing. Could you please. Okay. Call Let's go to one way. And questions. Make sure I get all these right. Okay, I almost ran off the edge because I wasn't paying attention.
My this God. is a note that I received from a friend. If we check the books here at Wan Wen Book House according to their respective clues on the note, we'll be able to find the complete details of each clue. Since you're here to help, I'll just read the clues to you, and you can help me judge if they're credible or not based on your experience. All right. Here are the first clues. At the foot of Mount Qingsa is a violet grass that has turned into a gigantic, man-eating monster. Also, there's a ghostly shadow skulking about Feiyun's slope at night. It's suspected to be a vengeful spirit. And finally, lurking in Li Yue Harbor is a massive demon that was transformed from a popsicle. Huh. I've never encountered any such things before. Anyway, could you pick the one that seems most plausible and likely to be the work of evil spirits? Ghostly shape. Vengeful spirit. Mm, this is possible, but it sounds too similar to previous rumors. Many people often pass through Feiyun's slope, so perhaps it's just some sort of misunderstanding. Hmm. How about these clues? Deep in the Sea of Clouds, a marauding demon has been raiding commercial fishing boats. Or, in Zhuiyun Karst, there's a piece of a thousand-year-old amber that has gained consciousness, and, and lastly, it's said that people often see a demon who loves eating chilies in Wanmin restaurant. <coughs> Deep in the sea of clouds. This one does seem possible, but it also... Okay, a strange man wearing a mask and wielding a pole was once seen in the distance around Guili Plains. There's something eerie about his presence. Or, <coughs> someone saw an exorcist with blue hair who was actually a transformed demon. Wait, what? <laughs> and finally... There is a vigilant demon adept at concealing itself in mist. Recently, people have found traces of it in Mingyun Village, Guili Plains, and Yao Guangzhou. God. Okay, vigilant demon concealing itself in mist. It, I may have heard of this one. I've been trying to track it. It appears most of these clues are either not reliable. It seems like there is little here that we can. Out of curiosity. Oh. Many of these are from my friend, Singcho. He's well-read and very knowledgeable. Not to mention, he's always willing to extend a helping hand. He always provides me with lots of reliable information. If it weren't for my pure Yang spirit, I would have already vanquished n I should find a chance to thank him personally. Such enviable friendship. Yes, he always goes out of his way for me, but he- Sorry, I digress. If we include the test of courage rumor from before, there are already two clues pointing there. I've also noticed that the weather in Wuwang Hill has been very abnormal recently. I hope. All right, let's head. So, are you buying or not? Rooms are a requirement for locomotion. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Really? Just one dialogue choice changes this an entire place thing. Seems quite ordinary. So ordinary that I don't even feel that it's worth investing. Same. So, I suppose this could only be expected. You saw them have a. It, it, I I'll guess so. Like I mentioned, you may think it's beneficial for me to have such a condition, and therefore there is no real. But if I renounced my practice of thaumaturgy and one day met an evil spirit that didn't fear my yang energy, then I may not be able to exercise it. No wonder you're if so I persistent. If training without actually putting it into practice, then how would I ever know the fruits of my labor or what skills I needed to improve? But to this very day, despite the many exorcisms I have performed, I have yet to see a single demon, not to mention one that I needed to defeat using thaumaturgy. <sighs> Sorry, I, I shouldn't rant like that. I'm fine. I've gotten used to such feelings. 
Don't give up. We're already here. Let's go check the two locations. Oh my god. Doop -a doop. Strange smoke. What's this? I, I don't know. Exist. It's very thick and never disperses. The evil spirit may have been here recently. So the glue was yes, real. But we mustn't act rashly. Once it contaminates Mon or if it happens to contaminate any adventurers passing by. Time to shine. My pleasure. Let's inspect the surrounding area. To remember, there might be danger ahead. We should be prepared for a fight. You're very thorough. It's second nature to me. It's on me if you or anyone else gets hurt due to my negligence. There's no time to lose. Okay. It appears there are evil spirits here. And not the weak variety. Let's keep going. Doop, doop, doop. Doop, doop. I suspected that there would be hilly chills here. Let's deal with them all. We mustn't let a single one escape. Okay. These tracks are still fresh. The path ends here as well as the tracks. It'll be difficult to follow it. It must have sensed me as a threat from a long way. It seems that this is still not the kind of spirit that can overcome my abundant yang energy and fight me head on. If we don't deal uh, with it. Don't worry. I'll continue tracking it for Shame a few Shame we couldn't take care of it yes. for good. Hmm? Why do you seem so disappointed? I couldn't help, but no, this is a the contrary. Not only did we clean up the trick, my only regret is that I didn't get to drive it, but I'm already prepared to spend my life chasing this goal. So I do not regret such disappointments. You're comforting of me? Of course. I no Actually, I also wanted to thank you for not- Even if we'd ended up running into an incredibly strong I'm just demon, doing my duty. I would have felt much- Well, I appreciate also, it. Also, oh my god, dude. Perhaps- Oh, no, uh, we shouldn't focus only on- Cool, okay. Nope. Well, not the one I wanted. <clears throat> Dupe. Take it easy. Okay, hi, kid. Uh huh. Sorry, I'll. No, please relax. No, there's not. My sister just. I'm her big. Bro oh, you mean what? Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. I see. What's well, wrong? These popsicles are. Okay, he has a sister, so you should get them. Oh, you're right. I'll just have to make do. Here, my young friend. You can have. Really? <laughs> just wait to. Whoa! It's already starting to I never expected that something I used to suppress my uh, but I wonder how I'll manage without any popsicles. Are they difficult to make? I usually get my popsicles from one min restaurant on special order. The ingredients are not complicated, but the restaurant is always bustling with business and Chef Mao is usually too busy to take my order. Now that I've used all my supply, I'll have to trouble him to make more. I'll go with you. Oh, no need. I'm sure I can manage it on my own. I'm the one who's convinced you. No, please don't feel at fault, but if you're offering to come along... <sighs> Alright. Let's go. Ah, oh, this is bad. Chef Mao is not a... We'll have to wait until he returns. What I do do try. Oh, are you a good cook? Making pops. I have to cook for myself. Then I'll leave it to you. Thanks for your help. What ingredients? Uh, I'm afraid all I know is that it requires water. But to imbue the effect that suppresses my yang energy, perhaps something special is required. 
Like different plants, fruits, or herbs, for example. Do you have any experience with such things? <laughs> Let's just get this one. Uh, Jew and chili and slime cons? Uh, that sounds a little <laughs> dangerous. Nah. As the saying goes, fight fire with fire. I trust your judgment. Have you procured all the ingredients for the... Yeah. I hate the fact that those are not only ingredients, but also... Is it finished? Oh, the color seems to be off. Let me try one. It's fine. Okay. Here it goes. Uh, uh, it's so spicy. My throat is on fire. You're fine. Oh, no, this is not good. It's fine. <laughs> okay. And now. Oh my god. Why do they get. It's because you. Oh, okay. Do not. <laughs> oh, this is bad. We'll have to wait until he returns. Oh, are you a good cook? Thank you, Pops. Then I'll leave it to you. Uh, like different plant. Do you have any? Exp Let's try Miss Fowler and Kishi. That sounds about right. Coming up with the right ingredients off the top of your head like that. Cool. Have you procured all the ingredients? Dupe. Dupe. Are they finished? Oh, they look exactly like the ones Chef Mao makes for me. Let me try one. <clears throat> yes. Good. This is the right feeling. I can sense the energy calming down within me. Should Thank help you, you, Traveler. Now, if I'd known you possessed such skills, we could have made more for that kid and his family. They would have been... Have to I'm sure the kid would eat, but still, I'm still here. <laughs> right. But he mentioned his family is not well off. I'd, exorcism is my means of helping the people of Liyue. If that kid really needs my help, then helping him would be just okay. the right. I remember the kid mentioned... No, I didn't seek. you get these? I didn't give you any Mora. You didn't steal them, did you? No, I didn't steal them. I talked to a nice person and they just gave them to me. So you've been asking for food on the street? I've already told you such behavior makes you look uneducated. How could you ask a stranger for food? Is that any different from being a beggar? But I didn't ask them for it. They asked me if I wanted some. That's it. No more lies. Just be honest about your mistake. Uh, okay. Excuse me. He got those popsicles from me. Uh, yeah, this is the nice person. Wh wh who are you? My name is Chung Yoon. As you could probably tell from my attire, I'm an exorcist. Your son really seemed interested in popsicles, so we thought we'd make a batch for you. That's why we're paying you a visit. No need to worry. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, Delong. It was wrong for Mommy to blame you. It's okay, Mommy. So, am I allowed to talk to the nice pop? Sure. But please keep an eye on your sister. Mommy will be back after some errands, okay? Don't worry. I'll look after her. Thanks. If it wasn't... Thank you for the popsicle. It was so cool and delicious. We made more. Oh, wow. Look at all the popsicles. Thanks. Don't need them all at once. Okay, I got it. Thanks, you guys. Heroes? Yeah. I've been telling a story to my sister recently, and she... And the heroes all... You two must be very... Uh, well... We just met. Really? It sure doesn't seem that way. Um, we're gonna go play right... Don't be so... Ch huh? You mean you... Can huh? Oh, sorry. Could I have... They look so excited to play with us, but I'm sure... I have time. Uh, sure, 
That, no, it's nothing. I spend most of my time purging, and besides my training, I also need to constantly focus deeply on my own emotions to avoid losing control. So, what I mean is that I seldom have time for anything that others would consider. They think we're heroes, so they must be very excited to play with us. But I'm afraid they'll just find me... boring. I've got you. Ah, great. All right. But I'll need your help if... Yay, they're back! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yay! Um... Who? Me? Let me play the ghost okay. first. We'll go hide. <laughs> you mean, we just hide? Of course, silly. That's the... But don't follow me. There's only room for one... Uh, all right. But I still don't really know what to do. Who knows? Maybe you'll be good at it. Yay! Let's go! Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 15. Do I want to cheat? Do I want to cheat and just get this over with? Hardly wants to just cheat and get it over with. Although. It's not that hard. Oh, you found me. Tee -hee. I can't believe I lost. I didn't. Okay, back over here. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Let me up. I never expected you to find me so easily. It's all in your first. I thought that this would be the perfect spot. In fact, I'm well versed in the methods of locating evil spirits, and I have this spot is dusty and a bit gloomy, which gives off an unsettling energy. Evil spirits usually prefer such places. But you can easily be seen here. I guess I was so nervous that I neglect since I've been found. I g it's a simple game, yet quite intriguing once you begin to play. Maybe we could play sure. together. We can invite more friends to Let's go. Yeah. A few more rounds of hide and seek. Hmm. Mommy's still not back yet. Oh, I'm starving. Do you two know how to cook at all? Don't be so selfish. They played with us for a long time already. Well, if we played for so long, then a little longer won't hurt. No, it's all right. But I'm not too picky about the taste. Unwell? Are you sick? No, it's not so serious. I just need to be careful. For example, noodles with mountain delicacies. The dish tastes great, but I can't eat anything warm, so I came up with my own- Oh! C cold noodles! Well, I don't think they taste quite as good as when they're served- No way! I'm sure it's- Uh, well... I have some ingredients here. For a child's- Are all the ingredients- Two things of flour. Two things of that, three mushrooms. So, how does it taste? It's unique, the texture is. Unique? I guess I'll take that as a compliment. Let's serve the dish to the kids. I hope they'll like it. Wow, it tastes amazing! Mm. 
Is there more? Me too. Me Whoa, slow down there. Yay. Oh, I'm so full. Now that we're done, let's m m more games. Congrats, you're good with kids. This is completely unexpected for me. No way. There's so much. Come on, let's go. I'm okay. This is. We'll have to wait until he returns. Oh, are you a good cook? Uh, I'll give it to you. What do you Thank, use? Uh, like different plants. Do you have any experience? Sunset and mm. all berries. Those do. Uh, but. Have you procured all the ingredients? Yeah, sure. Here. Doop. Doop. Are they finished? Oh, let me try one. It tastes fruity and sweet, but I'm afraid it's not as effective at suppressing my yang energy as Chef Mao's popsicles. Sadly not. But if these popsicles really are delicious, I bet that kid we met earlier would be thrilled to... <laughs> right. Exorcism is my mean. If that Whoa, kid really yep. needs my help, all right. Okay, and if I go... Yep. Abandon. I'm done with that. I'm gonna call it here today. I... Oh my god, these quests are gonna kill me. Navigating the world is a whole lot easier. Oh, bye-bye.